Hello, hello, YouTube. How are you guys doing? And welcome back to the live stream. We are playing some random horror games today, starting with this one, which is actually a free one. And I've been told that this one is similar to Buckshot Roulette. I love Buckshot Roulette. I mean, the whole internet loved that game. So I'm curious to see what this one's, uh, what this one's all about. Then there is a game about some lady being stalked that's finally come out. I've been looking at that one for a while. Uh, and then there's some game about a crazy monster under the ice, uh, plus a bonus game, which is actually quite old. Uh, it's like Amnesia, if we get to that one. I don't know if we're going to get to all of them, but we're going to find out. Let me check the settings. I think it was really... Yeah, look at this. This is what I set the music to. It gets so loud. I'm going to keep it very low. <laughs> it's just the loudest game of all time. I'm gonna set it to that. I don't know. It's already quite loud. I can hear it loud and clear. Uh, let's let's hop in and check it out. Welcome, patient. Hello there. All of us here at the Raymond Mitchell Association want to thank you for your participation in our limb regrowth program. Sounds ominous. Your generous service helps us aid all of humanity. We understand if you're confused, but don't worry. What if I have all my limbs alone. though? There I don't need that. Patient to keep you company in our facility, and they're very eager to meet you. All we ask is that you play a game of chance with your new friend to determine the effectiveness of our procedure. There is a small penalty for losing. Small? But luckily for you, the very nature of this program means you won't suffer any permanent damage. I will grow new limbs. In the following room, you will see a game board representing the maze in our facility. With the human statuette representing you. Is, we're going to play your chess. Goal is to navigate through this maze and find a way out. But be careful. Some tiles, represented by various colors, Shop will tile. initiate certain events. Okay. And you might not find all of them to be pleasant. A small cabinet has been provided for you to store all the useful items you come across. Hover over items to see their descriptions. And left-click to move them on and off the provided medical tray. To equip them, be sure to use Very buckshot roulette-like. As once they are used, they are gone forever. Okay. In the case that you need to hear this message again, Please feel free to replay it from the phonograph in the following room. All right, understood. So I've been told this game is similar to Buckshot Roulette. Uh, it's also a free game. It is on Steam. Let's see. Uh, what do we got? This is the game in the middle. I can replay the message, but I'm... Oh, uh, what? W8. Aha, I see. What did I just do? I moved my character. Uh-oh. Choose one item to add. Oh, it's a shop tile. We can get a... Uh, let's see, stapler. Okay. Uh, a medical grade stapler used to affix loose limbs and appendages used to reattach severed fingers Infrared camera a camera with the ability to see and detect heat signatures Use this to reveal all cards currently in your hand. Oh, that sounds huge early game. That sounds really useful Let's do that because we haven't lost any limbs yet And I don't know how many limbs we're gonna lose. Let's hope not too many <laughs> Okay, so can I see in here? Aha, my item collections. Place items in the tray to bring them with you to card games. Okay, so I have two infrared cameras. I didn't know that. Patient fingers collected. I got zero collected fingers. All right, <laughs> we're gonna need limbs. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's set another step. I'm not gonna go into the dead end. I mean, there might be something good in the dead end for all I know. You know what? Let's, let's never let them know your next move. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, that was a bad idea. I thought I was gonna get a bonus. During your encounters with the other patient, a standard 52 card deck will be placed before each of you, and each patient is allowed five cards in their hand. Okay, we're playing like Bellatro. Since you're the challenger, you'll always start first. All revealed cards will be moved to the discard pile off to the side. You will only be able to redraw once you've used all the cards in your hand. Okay. Of course, and your deck won't be shuffled until all cards have been sent to the discard pile. In each deck, there are 31 safe cards, 16 death cards, and 8 joker cards. Drawing a safe card allows you to pass your turn with no consequences. But if you draw a death card, you will unfortunately have to relieve yourself of what the fuck? Your fingers. Additionally, for your convenience, there will be a monitor keeping track of the amount of death cards currently on the table. Okay, thank you. If three jokers are drawn, an execution will begin. Whoever draws the third joker has the option to choose either themselves or their opponent to have their current hand scanned. If you choose yourself, your hand will be scanned for death cards. If you have any death cards, they will be removed from your hand. Okay. If you do not possess it's like any inscription, death cards, buckshot roulette. 
transaction, one of your fingers will be singularly removed. Oh, the same is interesting. True for your opponent. Oh, you game, this is very tactical. The what board. the hell? Should you lose all your fingers within an encounter, you will permanently lose two fingers and return to the board. This oh god. Feature is still a work in progress after all. Okay, very interesting. Regrettably, if you permanently lose all your fingers, you will no longer have the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful project. And wonderful project? This seems bad. Any fingers you collect from your opponents <laughs> can be kept in trade for items in the item shop, the location of which is noted in blue on the game Awesome. Board. You can see your collection of fingers in a My collection of fingers. Board room cabinet. Totally not ominous. In case you need to hear this message again, please feel free to replace okay. on the phone. So the there's a lot of strategy going on here. I know you probably as well as me didn't get it all in the dome yet, but we're gonna figure it out probably the hard way. Is that my t opponent right there on the cross the table? Oh, hi. What the fuck? You're my opponent? Okay, hello, sir. Um you got what a long tongue you got. Okay. Oh no, we're stuck. Yikes. All right, I can death card count. There's two death cards. You know what? I got these things. Might as well use them. Let's see. So I can take a picture of my cards. Oh, so I have one death card at the end. What did it say? Right. If you get three jokers, you start the special round. Okay. I mean, I could just pick up this card. That's totally safe. Okay, there we go. He immediately got a death card. Okay. That is one metal way to get rid of your finger, sir. Is that what I look like too? Or am I a normal person? Okay, he immediately chopped off his own finger. Do I get those? So there is only one more death card, which means I have the death card, right? So then what am I, what do I do now? <laughs> I guess I pick up this one. Because I can't really seem to skip. Okay, he gets a save card, obviously. So now I guess I want to do the Joker round. Oh, okay. Because then we... I can know that I have the death card. He doesn't know what cards he has. He hasn't done anything. I want to do another Joker. Please grab a Joker and another save card or I'm fucked. No, 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 no. No! What? Stop. I don't want to play anymore. I have to grab this one. Can I do it? Can I grab yours? Oh, fuck. The information didn't really help me then, okay. Uh, well, I mean, I guess we have no choice. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Okay, death card. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, we get more cards now? Okay, why did I grab those then? Okay, so he, there's two death cards. What is the chance that this is a death card? Zero, right? Nice. Okay, please. Please get a death card, sir. Okay, he gets a save card too. Which one? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I will this one. Oh, okay, wait, so now we... Oh, no. Wait a minute. So, I start joke around now, right? No? So, I have to either pick my own or his cards. If I pick his cards and there's no... So, let me explain this again. If I pick his cards, it removes the death cards. And we continue the game. If there are no death cards, he loses a finger. If I choose myself, it removes the death cards. But if there's no death cards, I lose a finger. So I think I'm going to pick myself because what are the chances that both death cards are in his pile, right? Come on, they got to be here. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, so I got rid of one death card, I see. Which means these are both safe or they're joker, so I'm totally fine. And he's going to grab a death card. That's kind of fucked up. Now he knows. Oh, yeah, here he goes. He knows he has to grab a death card. It's a very interesting strategy here, but also kind of fucked up because you know you have to shoot yourself, uh, basically. Well, this card should be safe, or it's a joker, but it's neither. Okay. Wait, I grab a new card. Wait, does... Wait, that's still... No, wait. Okay. I needed to look at... So that said zero, right? And then I grabbed a new set of five cards, and now it says one again. So we know that one of my cards... Is a death card. I could scan to see which one's the death card, but it's not really going to help me because I have to pick them up anyway. So I think I'm going to save this for now for when we get like a bunch of Joker cards because I probably have to chop off a finger. Yeah, he gets a save card. Does he get a death card? He gets three death cards? What a sucker, dude! <laughs> Wait, what are you supposed to do when you get a bunch of death cards? It's not really a way to get rid of them. I guess you need better items. Okay. So I have one death card. He got three death cards in his pile, so... This one. Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, shit. 
Boss. Oh god. Hi. Yikes. At least I don't have any more death cards. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Don't worry about it. Okay, he's gonna grab so many death cards. Is it not your turn? Wait, did you skip your turn, sir? Oh, I have to do another turn because I grabbed a death card. Is that how that works? I'm safe, though. You're gonna be fucked, sir. Give me all your... Wait, what? Huh? The other three are all death cards. He is so screwed. Flip me a death card. There he goes. Do we lose once we lose five? Like, when? what is the lose condition? Do we just keep going until we're both dead? I don't know. As, as of yet, I don't think there is a way to avoid picking up a death card. Let's see. So right now it's two. I'm going to grab a new set of cards. It's still two. So we don't get... We didn't get any death card. Wait, what? Lose all fingers. So we have to do ten. Yeah, you cry too. So wait, we can just pick up these cards. No problem. We get a joker. I see. I like the joker system. That's very tactical. He got screwed over by RNG, dude. <laughs> okay. So when you lose five fingers, you fucking die. I mean, makes sense. Okay. We win. That was actually worth it. Do I still have my fingers lost now? Let me check my collection of fingers real quick. How many fingers do I got? Uh, I have five fingers. It's a zero with a five on top. That is because I collect... Okay, so I don't get to collect my own fingers. Do I permanently lose the fingers I lost? Like, am I now like two fingers down or how does this work i think i might be in trouble okay that was probably not my best decision to go that way for literally no reason i also don't get to re-trigger this well we have to go through here so oh it's a free space where do we go i would say like they expect me to go this way never let them know your next move i'm going up let's go if i go right there that's what they expect choose one item what the fuck is this eye of foresight foresight a gouged eye obstructed by a thick layer of cataract reveals a selected card's value so it's like a worse version well it's you can use the ca can you use the camera on your opponent as well i think you can we can use the stapler stapler would actually let's get the stapler now that might actually be super useful i don't know can, can we use the stapler right now or do i guess we'll use it in the mission uh I feel like they would have put a, a bad tile there. I could even go all the way up, but then we have to go through way more tiles. So I think I'm just... I need to get here, right? I'm gonna go this way. That's a free space. I really want to shop. Don't be red. Okay, we're getting super lucky. No! Fuck. Here we go. Information is better. Well, not necessarily in this game. In Bookshop Roulette, I would say yes. But in this game, you... So there's four death cards. There's really no way that we can... Oh, I get all my fingers back. Okay. So that's why it's called the, the limb attachment program or whatever the fuck. Do I check for my own cards or do I... I don't think it matters right now. Let's just grab the first card. What could go wrong? It's safe. Uh, I kind of need to know the cards once there's three jokers on the board. So let's not... We don't have to worry about that right now. Please don't tell me all of my cards are death cards. I'm going to grab this one. Oh, fuck. That's unfortunate. Yikes. Why would you start with the thumb, sir? What finger would you chop off first if you had to... If you were in this position, which would be the finger you chop first? I would say... My my ring finger. Pinky or ring finger? Pinky finger? Definitely not my thumb. That's for sure. Okay, did he grab one? I'm gonna do this one. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked, dude! <sighs> Aye, aye, aye. What? Yeah. You, this is like the most important fingers. He chops off the thumb first, then the index finger. What an idiot. Wait. He keeps speedrunning. Wait, I actually am getting fucked here by RNG, bro. What the hell? Okay, that one's safe. You better grab a death card right now. I swear to God. Okay, he got a death card. He only got save cards up till then. He chopped off his, his, his thumb. What a maniac. Um, okay. Let's hope his is the death card and not mine. Please. Dude, I got <sighs> fucked up! I got three death cards in the first hand. That's so rude. <sighs> okay, we need to figure out a way to skip hands. Because right now we are kind of... He didn't even get anything. Okay, so there's four death cards. Um, I mean, knowing the death cards doesn't help me, right? I might have to reattach a finger though. Fuck me, I'm gonna have the middle cards. Holy shit. <laughs> There's nothing I can do, dude! 
I'm gonna- ah! My fingers! <laughs> oh no. Okay, he got- he got his finger chopped off. As well. Okay. Sometimes it gets you stuck in animations that you can't see what he pulls as cards. I have to reattach a finger. We have to do it. A medical grade stapler used to fix lo lose limbs. Here we go. That's just great. What did you Okay, there we go. I was about to say, did you even do anything? Okay, so we have two fingers still. This is very bad. There's two more death cards. This one. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually like, what am I supposed to do, dude? <laughs> Chop it up immediately. Okay, he, he got a death card as well. Nice. Wait, that means we all got save cards now, right? There's no more death cards remaining. No more death cards? Zero death cards. So we can just grab willy-nilly. It doesn't matter. It's okay. We're a robot. Uh, maybe. Can we get any joker cards? Thank you. I really... The joker cards are so fun. I really want to get a tactical joker play on my enemy. Yes! Wait a minute. What if he does it now? Okay, so I get three death cards? I'm fucked! I get three death cards. He got two. There's nothing I can do, man. He needs to grab both death cards before... Wait, 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 wait. If we look... So there's almost no chance I win, but if I do, th no, I don't think I can win unless he grabs. Okay. If he grabs a, j a, yo a joker or two death cards. Wait, wait, wait. We could actually do this. Potentially, if we get super lucky. So we know now these are safe. Please grab a joker that I'm actually saved. Oh no, but then he can choose. No, come on, sir. Please. Please. Okay. Well, that doesn't help me at all. I'm fucked still. Come on. Wait, did I lose? Am I am I done for? Uh, yeah, this isn't very nice. Well, I guess we grab this one. F. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yep, it's over. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. All right. Well, that was just insanely bad RNG. Wait, I don't lose. Okay. Wait, what did I just... What What did that do for me? I got screwed over by RNG. I mean, I lost all my items. Do I still... I still keep his fingers, though. So I have nine fingers right now. So if I can go to a store, I lose two fingers permanently. That's so fucked up. Okay. That's really bad. And then if we eventually lose all our fingers, we're done for. So now the question is to get... Obviously, the shortest route is to go this way. Because we need to get to the middle. Or no, is this a shop? Is this the shop? I think we have to find a, a random space. Let's just go to the shop because we really want to... No! <laughs> okay. Well, we are... We are in need of very good luck right now. Or we're screwed. This is insane. Because I don't even have any items. There's three death cards, and I have already lost two fingers, and he got five. There is basically no chance I win, but let's let it up the chance. What are you going to pull, sir? A death card right away is very good. Okay. Hello. He looks at me so ominously. Please, there'll be death. Okay, wait, we're actually getting lucky. Get another death card. No. This one. I'm telling you it's safe. Fuck! <sighs> No, we cannot die this round though. I really want more Joker cards. <sighs> yeah, that's bad. <laughs> okay, why? So, what's kind of annoying is that the animation, it locks me in an animation when I chop off my own fingers, which that animation takes so long that I can e not even see him pick up his cards by before the animation is done. So I'm still locked in the animation looking at him and I can't look down to see his card pull. But whatever, I knew that that was a death card. And we have no more death cards, which is actually huge. So we're safe in this situation. We get a Joker card. I feel like what this game kind of misses right now is some way to not have to pull cards. Because it misses a large strategic aspect where if I have information, there's almost no way to act on that information. I get a lot of information right now, though. I have one death card. Wait, that's so lucky. And he gets he gets also one death card. Okay. So we know that we both have a death card. We re It's really important to look at that. But we won't die from that, which means that if we get a joker, we really want a joker. Please give me a joker. No, come on. He can't get it. If he gets a joker, I'm fucked. Don't you dare. Okay. He already pulled this one death card. 
Wait a minute. That means that if I pick him now, when I get a Joker card, doesn't that mean he loses two fingers? And then I can win? Please be a Joker. Come on. We have to get a Joker. This one. Oh, come on. No! The one death card! <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> oh shit. No, don't get I, I can't see. Okay, he got a safe card. I need to get a Joker card. Please give me a Joker. Oh my god, you son of a ding dong. Don't get a Joker, I swear to god. It's just whoever pulls the Joker first. Please give me a Joker! No! Don't do it. Don't do it, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, give it to me. Give me a Joker! You son of a ding dong. There was nothing I could do. Please don't be a Joker. Okay. Wait, I have two death cards. I'm screwed. He got three, though. I have two. He's got three. Um. There's a there's a, <laughs> a two and five chance that I die right now. I really need a Joker. Which one? One, two, three, four, five. Give me give me the the right one. The left one. Two, four. I see many people say four. I'm trusting you guys. You killed me. <sighs> You fucking pieces of crap. It's Jover. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Dang it. I should have saved my camera, man. I should have just accepted last round that I was going to die and saved my camera for the for the next round. I could have actually won that round, I think. Okay. I'm going to go to the store because I really want to... Don't be another one. Okay. We get a free item. This is huge. We need a stapler, man. Well, do we need a stapler? What is this? A bone from an avian creature that is said to bring good luck when broken forces the enemy to take another turn. Okay. Pickled snake, a garden snake whose aroma is that of flowers and vinegar, reveals all cards in enemy hands. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I feel like this one is just straight up better always. Because... This is useless because what do I do? I, what do I do with the information on the enemies? Like I can't really make him force a turn. It's only the only time that's useful is if you have a Joker card. But that last round we didn't even get a Joker at all. So yeah, we're taking Wishbone. We have only one finger remaining, so we are probably gonna lose. But let's see. I want to go to the store. This is the store. We have quite a lot of fingers, and we really, really need items right now. Please tell me they're not too expensive. Come on. Uh, we can buy an infrared cam for three. Stapler for three, though. Wait a minute. Uh, how do I... Where does it show my... F oh, we got ten fingers. Should we just get... What is a matchbox? A matchbox containing a few dry... Few matches. Keep dry. Burn all cards in your hand, rendering them unplayable. Won't be added into the deck until after the battle. Okay, wait. That's actually huge. I feel like... So the play here, potentially, if we want to submit to RNGesus, is to get the staplers and just pray that we get better luck. If instead we get two, we can get two matchboxes. I feel like we should get two staplers because then we are, because we have only one finger right now. If we get two staplers, we have three fingers, which means we can lose another match without losing the entire game. And the matchbox seem incredible. They seem really, really good. Like they actually allow you to skip turn, skip cards, rather than like just knowing what the cards. Yeah, let's let's know what the cards are. Let's get a stapler. Oh, we can only buy one. Okay, well then we're buying all. Then we're buying everything. Fuck. I thought we could buy two. Well, that's unlucky. Don't bother with the camera. I think camera in combination with Matchbox is insane. Because then you can take a photo of your cards, grab all the safe cards, and then burn the death cards. It's like, it's, it's... Because the main thing in this game, the main thing you try to do is to give the enemy as many turns as possible. So we have really good items right now. We have a stapler to attach one thing, the wishbone to make them take more turns, and then we can burn our own cards. I think we can do this. Uh, hopefully. Let's see. Can we go back to the store? I think it does looks like it's disabled right now. Where are we even trying to go? We're trying to make our... What is the goal? How do we win the entire game? <laughs> I don't really know. Okay, that's a safe spot. I'm just going to explore the board a little bit. Oh, we get another item. That's actually amazing. Clear the whole board. Is that the objective? Just one... What is this? Jack in the box. 
A box containing an unsurprising surprise forces your opponents to redraw their current hand. Interesting. I think the wishbone is just straight up better though. I mean, is it better? Because if you, if they draw, because you know how many death cards are in a hand if you pay attention. So if there's no death cards, I can make them draw again. And we already have a wishbone. I think that might be really good in some situations. Can I move the chat? Does it matter? I will do it. But is there something on the top right? What's on the top right? Uh, I think having a variety of items might be better. Yeah. I don't know. It's a tough one. We, you're flying. I don't know if we can carry it all, though. But let's take the jack in the box because then we have a little bit of everything. I don't know what the inventory capacity is because we can't take it all. Okay, so we cannot actually carry that. So let's see. What do we need the most? We definitely need to use the stapler. So we need to take that with us. Then I feel like, I mean, I think these are the best items we have right now. And we cannot carry this. Yeah, I can't put that in. I need to put one item away. And we're going to obviously use some items. Okay. We really need to get some good RNG in our next battle or we are fucked. Okay, still no battle. I really need... Come on, don't... Oh, if we get more items. I mean, I think we want another stapler. If we can get a stapler and take two with us, that could be amazing. Oh, I thought that was a stapler. Okay, so what is Matchbox? The game seems to think that the infrared camera is better, right? Because it costs three fingers instead of two fingers. But I almost feel like the Matchbox... I mean, is it better? Because it renders them unplayable, right? I feel like... Camera allows us to delay our drawing of death card as much as possible. The stapler gives me an extra life, basically. Um, I think... I mean, we obviously want both of this. I think I'm just gonna do... Because the matchbox without an infrared camera is kind of useless. So let's get another infrared camera. Whereas an infrared camera by itself is pretty okay. Um, let's hope we get... I mean, we really don't want another battle. We, uh, You know what? I'm going to go all the way across. I'm going to go on an insane journey here. Look at this. I'm going to go down here and I'm telling you, there's a freaking yellow tile here. Okay, never mind. Yellow tile here. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to get screwed, dude. I'm mean, going to have two lives in this one. Okay. Um, What the hell? The environment changed. Death guard count is two. Yeah, I need to do the stapler, obviously. Does this count? Like, if I get out of the match with a finger still attached, do I keep that finger? Or does it not work like that? I'm actually not sure. So death counts. Let's see. Do we go all in here? Like we use all our items? Or do we still wait? I think we still wait on this one and just draw through it. And then the next one we get it. Because the next one might be worse. We can still survive this hand even if we draw the death card. So let's just go through this hand. And then next round if we get more death cards, we, we, we get all the information. Because right now it basically doesn't do anything. Okay, well fuck <laughs> you, sir. Impossible to win, just you wait. I'm gonna get so <laughs> fucking lucky. Oh, shit. Okay, he draws a safe card. So now it's. He has one death card, I have none. <clears throat> Please don't give me many death cards on the next round. He's gonna draw a death card eventually. Not right now. Can we get some Joker cards? Joker cards? There's not enough Joker cards in this game, man. Yeah, this is very similar to Bookshot Roulette. Okay, Joker, and he gets a death card, right? I have two death cards in my in my thing, by the way. I paid attention to the screen. How many does he get? That's very important here. He only has one? What the fuck, dude? I'm getting so screwed. I mean, we ha if we want to survive... Oh, no, 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 he has two. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because it went from three to one because he got a death card, and then it went back up to four. So he has two as well, but he still has four fingers. I mean, I have to use my items because we lose if we lose. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously, but now for real because we can't, we don't have more fingers to lose. Okay. Uh, we are going to grab this first. We need to do the Joker. We want to be the one to draw the third Joker. So let's get this. We can maybe manipulate our way out of this with the items we got, but I'm not sure. He really needs to have a Joker in his, in his deck. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Okay. Mm, save. I mean, 
What I could do is wishbone him to make him draw another card that could potentially be a joker. But I feel like... Oh, fuck. Um... Boner him? I think we should let him... I think we should do this. What the fuck? I broke it. I'm still crying. Okay, that was not a joker. So now... I mean, we have to draw this, right? Fuck. I could totally die here. But he cannot use it on me to save me. He can only save himself, so it's fine. Even if he gets a joker now. Okay, he did not get a joker. He never has jokers, man. I have to matchbox now. Like, obviously, otherwise I lose. So now we burn the cards we have. What am I doing? With one hand. Uh, okay, I have one death card in my hands. Because Wait, I need to redraw? Okay. So, it, I, I mean, that's still better than killing myself by drawing a death card, but okay. There's a one in five chance, guys. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Which one? Please don't kill me. And we could... Fuck, if we get a Joker card, that'd be so good. Middle. <laughs> you guys are all saying random shit. Can we do a poll so I can blame you guys? Can we do a one, two, three, four, five poll? So if it goes wrong, I can just say it was your fault. Any mods? <laughs> Just which card to draw? One, two, three, four, five. That's the that's the poll. <laughs> you won't vote. Here we go. It's chat. It's gonna be your fault. <laughs> what the hell? That is so interesting. Forty percent of people say I should grab the middle card. That is so many. Twenty percent say this one. I mean, it seems obvious that everyone wants to grab the middle card. Well, you better not kill me. You fucking saved me. Okay, so now we choose our... Oh, dude, you guys are insane. How did you fucking know, chat? <laughs> You're a damn genius. Okay, we obviously grab our own cards because we know he has a death card. So we get rid of our own death card. And now we need him to redraw. He gets a death card and then we see how many he has. You guys did insane. Good job, good job. Or can we actually somehow win this? How many does he get? He has two. Wait, that's actually fine. But he, he, he needs to draw both of those before we draw a single one. All right. Here we go, baby. Uh, he draws. Please be a death card. Oh, wait a minute. If he draws a death card, one in four chance. Come on. Wait, actually, it's a really high chance that we win here. Because I have two more safe turns. Whereas there's... Literally like a three and four chance that well no. There's a fifty percent chance round about or about that. That we don't even have to draw another potentially dangerous cart. Okay, please. Please draw it. One in third one one in three chance. I have one. Oh let's go! I win! We actually saved it with items. That was really fucking fun, dude. When when you have some items to manipulate the cards. You can play so tactically. Okay, we need to add our items back in. Now, we still only have one finger, which is not very good. Uh, so now we have the jack-in-the-box, forces your opponent to redraw their hand, and infrared, which allows us to see our hand. Okay, but we still only have one finger, right? Or do you regain a finger when you win? Would you get all your fingers back when you win? That would be incredible. Then we... Then we're... You actually... You guys won the game for me. We get another item. <laughs> this is so fun, man. How many figures do we have? I guess five. Uh, what is this? Holy cross. A cross bearing the likeness of an idol of worship. When used, a single death card will be removed from your current hand, if any. I mean, that is incredible. That is definitely a must-have. If there is any, but you usually know... Like, this is a very... It's, a, it's very different from Buckshot Roulette in the sense that in Buckshot Roulette, information is really hard to get. In this one, information is sometimes easy to get, but using the information is quite hard to do. Um, because you need to have items to be able to get rid of Death Card or something. Okay, can I get another... Yes, another item. 
We could go back to the shop, but we don't have many. I mean, we could buy two items, maybe. I really. Okay, Matt. We have a camera still, right? I think Matchbox plus camera is the dream deal. So let's get both. I think we should do one more battle before we do shop. Although, has anyone... Wait, wait, wait. Do we get our fingers back now that we won? Because then I'm not scared. But if we still have only one finger, I am mortified. Um, I don't remember. We could listen to the listen to the thing again. Let's quickly re-listen um, what he says. Because he has some information. Can we... Was the first or second tutorial? with the other patient. A standard 52 card deck will be placed before each of you, and each patient is allowed five cards in their hand. Luckily for you, since you're the challenger, you'll always start first. Isn't it bad to start first though? All of cards will be moved to the discard pile off to the side. You will only be able to redraw once you've used all the cards in your hand. Of course, in your deck will be shuffled until all cards have been sent to the discard pile. In each deck, there are 31 safe cards. 16 death oh, cards, interesting. So there's only cards. eight Joker cards in the Drawing a safe card allows times. you to pass your turn with no consequences. But if you draw a death card, you will unfortunately have to relieve yourself of one of your fingers. Additionally, for your convenience, there will be a monitor keeping track of the amount of death cards currently on a table. If three Jokers are drawn, an execution will begin. Whoever draws the third Joker has the option to choose either themselves or their opponent to have their current hand scanned. If you choose yourself, your hand will be scanned for death cards. If you have any death cards, they will be removed from your hand. If you do not possess any death cards, when you perform this action, one of your fingers will be similarly removed. The same is true for your opponent. Should you win the game, you will be returned to the game board. Should you lose all your fingers within an encounter, you will permanently lose per two fingers and return I think to we're the fucked. board. This procedure is still a work in progress okay. after all. So, I mean... Regrettably, if you permanently lose all your fingers, you will no longer have the opportunity... It doesn't say anything about getting back project, fingers, so I think we... Retired. You will be... Oh, no. Any you collect from your opponents can be kept in trade for items in uh -oh. the item shop. The location of which... Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Well, we might be in trouble then, because we have permanently lost four fingers. Okay, that is extremely unfortunate. So we should go to the shop to buy a stapler then, because we cannot possibly win like this. We have been so unlucky that we haven't gotten a choice to get any staplers in a while. So we got we got to get the shop and buy a stapler. It's Unless we don't get a stapler, in which case we're screwed. Uh, come on, give me a stapler. Hey, there's good to rewatch the tutorial. Uh, oh my, come on, dude. I mean, Holy Cross is amazing. Uh, fuck me, dude. We got seven. We can actually buy all of these, which I guess there's no reason not to buy all of these. Because we're going to play another game where we're going to make... F yeah, I think we just buy everything. Um, God damn it. Diamond, thank you for the prime. Okay, can we somehow find a way out of this? So let's see what items we want to take. Um, the camera plus matchbox combo is incredible. I think we want to get this. I think having a two cross is amazing. So we have a lot of power to not draw death cards. I think this is the safest combo of items I can pick. The wishbone is good, but we can only take four. So I, I think this is the way to go. Uh, wishbone makes your opponent take another turn, which is good, but it's better to just get rid of our own death cards. So we, because if we can, it, let's say we draw a full hand and one of the cards is a death card, we can use a cross, which will make the opponent take four extra turns because then we can just draw four safe cards and be totally fine. Whereas if we have a wishbone, we can only make them draw one extra turn and then we still have the death card. So I think this is just a, it's just a strictly better item. Uh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Where do we go? I'm so scared. Um, I'm gonna go, it seems like they're kind of spread out a little bit. So I feel like there's got to be a, a shop or an item here, please. Let's go. Give me a stapler. Stapler. I really need a fucking stapler. I mean, do we even want a stapler over a cross? No! A gouge die reveals a card select selected card's value. This one is just worse than the, than the camera in like so many ways. So let's get the bone. Okay. We've been getting a little screwed when it, that one round where we got so many more death cards than our opponent was kind of fucked up. 
Okay, two items back to back. That's pretty lucky. Give me a stapler. We really need a fucking stapler game. You, what is this? Pocket knife. A well-aged pocket knife. It's blade more blunt than sharp. Decide which card your opponent must select from their hand. Does that help us much? <laughs> I thought it was gonna chop off one of his fingers. I don't think that really does too much for us. You can combo it with the sna with like seeing their cards, but I mean, I guess it's better than just having another one of this. I guess we could look for a snake then and get a combo going. I think what this game is really missing, I, I, I love the idea and I'm really enjoying myself, but to make it even better, I think there should be some way, like maybe just an additional rule is if you've only have one card left, you can decide to like skip that card or something like that. There need to be some way that doesn't involve items to be able to skip some cards. Cause now, even if you have perfect information on what's in your hand, you know exactly which each card is. You just have to draw them and cut and die. <laughs> Up? You guys want to go up? Dude, there's fucking... Where do we go? Uh, I'm gonna go down into this spiral here. Okay. Fuck. I'm gonna go next to this one. What's the chance that there will be two fights back to back? Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. That's annoying. Well, hello, sir. Okay, so we still only have one finger. There's two death cards. Um... I think best case scenario- wait. Why do we have a wishbone? Didn't I put up- can you not take two of the same item or did it swap it out automatically? Didn't I take two crosses and a camera and a- wait, what? Why do we- why did it swap my items? I'm confused. Uh, I'm gonna use this. It swapped it. I did not know that would happen. Uh, I'm gonna use this. Hopefully there's no death card in my hand. I mean, hopefully there is. Actually, no, it would be better if there's none. <gasps> Wait, okay. I mean, how could I have, I guess I should have used the camera. So we got no death cards, which means he has two, which is incredible. We can just fucking draw all of them then. Okay. That's totally fine. He's gonna draw two for sure. And then we still have the matchbox and camera combo. Um, Give me some jokers, please. We really want some joker cards. You're gonna draw you last two cards are death cards. That's unlucky for you, sir. Get ready to chomp some of your fingers. Yummy yummy. Also, he is like got so many syringes. <laughs> the opponent does not have items. That is like the main way the main thing you have over your opponent. Okay, so there were two cards, two death cards added. So I have two death cards in my hand. How many does he have is the main is going to be very important here. He has one. Oh, fuck you, dude. I wish I had anything but this item. <laughs> fuck this item, dude. Okay. I have to. Yeah, he gets his fingers back, which is very bad for me. I don't even know what the win condition is. I mean, we have to use the camera. There's no other chance. And then we have to burn the cards, the death cards. Okay. So we gotta draw. I mean, we could have just YOLO'd that, but I don't think that's a bad idea. Okay. Here, like, if he draws a death card, then I could let him reshuffle the rest, but he's not drawing any death cards. All right, I need to get a good hand in my next one, otherwise. Okay, he has no more death cards remaining, which is a bit bad for us. I mean, we're trying our, our hardest here, we're doing everything that we have at our disposal. Two more. So obviously we gotta burn the hands we got. Uh, which means we have to redraw. Fuck, how many are we gonna get? So there's, wait, he's got zero death cards, right? So I still, I still have two death cards. What the fuck? I have to make him draw. I, ha I think we're fucked, but I have to make him draw. And I just need to get, can I even possibly win this? I can only win this, so let me get this straight. I have two death cards. We have to draw all three save cards, otherwise we lose. Because he draws this one now, then he must draw two death cards after that. Otherwise, so we there's almost no chance, but let's see it, baby. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Come on, man. He, how many? He has three death cards. Holy fuck, it's... 
Fuck me, dude. We need so there's a 50 50 chance that we die here. Uh, last time you guys said card the third card or the middle card, I guess, in this situation. What do we still? I mean, that that saved us last time. Let's roll with it again. Or you everyone's saying four. I'm seeing many, many fours. Let's do this one. I'm assuming this is what you mean with four because one is missing. You actually fucking got it, dude. Oh my god, he needs to draw a death card though. Okay, wait, there's actually a chance. There's a one in three chance. If we somehow, I need to get a poll. I'm not taking this responsibility. This one's up to you. We're gonna call them one, two, three. One, two, three. You guys get to decide. If you get this one, we can actually win. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> I wanna see. You guys decide. <laughs> what are you thinking? Too much pressure? <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> That's so good. Well, as of now, the third card is winning with 42%. 30% for the first one. I mean, seems pretty convincing. Everyone wants... Well, not everyone, but 42% wants this one. Here we go, gamers. If this is correct, we still don't even win, but there's a good chance. Come on. No! <laughs> Damn, dude. We actually had a chance. No. I'm dead. Hello. So now I lose? Oh, God. Well, that's not fucked up at all. Okay, we have to go again. We learned so much there. Um, we learned so much about the game. We know what the good items are. We can look for the good items. I still don't exactly know how to win the game, but we're gonna be totally fine. Do we get any items to start off? Yes, we get one camera. Okay, so we know that using that camera initially doesn't help too much because we cannot skip the death card. So let's, we need to literally clear the board. Okay, so loot, oh wait. Wait, you keep... Okay, so it's it's a continuation of the previous game. Okay, that helps a ton. I mean, we're still going to try to do it in as few wins as possible. Okay, I did not know the game worked like that. Okay, that obviously helps a lot. But we did lose all our items, which is unfortunately because we had... Or unfortunate because we had quite a lot. Can we get some preemptive staplers? What is this? Severed hand. It is still warm. Discard all cards in your current hand and redraw new ones or reshuffle all playing cards. Okay, that's incredible. We definitely, anything that allows you to manipulate your cards is amazing. It, it, those are the best items in the game, 100%. Uh, M's Cooper, thank you for the four. Uh, and Laughing Fox, thank you for the 25 as well. Okay, we just need, we need to clear the board, but we, we have all our fingers again, which is huge. If we could, dude, we're getting so lucky. If we can somehow do this in two, uh, two lives, we'd be insane. Okay. Uh, I think, I mean, this one is just absolutely awful. You can see a card. Like, there has to be something... Like, maybe if this item was, like, you can see a card and then you can decide to keep it or, or discard it. I think that would be a good one. Because then you could use it either on yourself and discard a potential death card if you're lucky. Or use it on the enemy and discard a save card. But now it's just completely useless. Like, there's never a situation in which you want to take that item. Like, it just... Unless I don't understand, unless it like, has a, is a bit weirdly written. Uh, it doesn't seem like it makes any sense. Come on, give me. Oh, here we go. All right, a fight. We got this, though. I mean, if you, you get items for free every time you hit one of those stapler icons. Okay, we have already, we already understand this. It's going to go through the tutorial again, but we don't have to. Hello. Um, so we have, there's one death guard total. Interesting. I mean, in that situation, we literally just draw away because it's a 50-50. Like, we're not going to use any items on this hand. It would just be stupid. Um, if we have the death card, so be it. I'm just going to draw them in order. Uh, you have the death card. Let's go. Okay, that's very lucky for us. It is obviously... I mean, that's similar to Buckshot Roulette. It is extremely... I still want to do Buckshot Roulette, by the way, again. And see if I can get a high score. It's extremely... Um, uh, RNG heavy, but at least you have the items to manipulate it a little bit. So now we there's no death cards. I get to see what how many death cards are in my new hand. Um, how many? Zero. 
What the fuck? What are these hands, dude? We we both got no death cards. What the fuck? Excuse me? This We're gonna get so deep into the draw pile, man. We're gonna get some jokers. Give some jokers. I really, I really wish there were a, a slightly more jokers because that is like a really fun tactical aspect of the game that you don't get to explore too much because they're so rare. You're like, there's only eight jokers in each deck and there's 52 cards. Uh, well, <laughs> so much for this hand. We all just got save cards? Redraw. So, what? Excuse me? Okay, so I still have zero death cards and he has two? What is going on, man? I'm getting so lucky. Who shuffled this deck? It's like, is that one friend who always like shuffles as an absolute maniac? And then you draw <laughs> a bunch of the same card back to back. Okay, well, I mean, you're gonna get screwed, sir. Yeah, this one is way lucky. Okay, so there's almost no chance we lose this. I mean, there's a, actually a potential that we get like five death cards in the next hand because there's, they don't go away, remember? There is still 16 death cards in this, but there is minus 12 cards. So there's 40, basically a 50-50% chance because there's 16 death cards, 40 cards still remaining. It's like a 50% chance per card that it's going to be death, uh, which is bad for me. Okay, he gets another death card. How many? He's only got two more fingers. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we got this. You're going to stab yourself. What? What? I got zero death cards again? What is going on, dude? There is freaking... <laughs> Excuse me? There's 35 cards, 16 of which are death cards. That is so fucked up for this. Imagine being that guy. You're just getting absolutely cheated. <laughs> and he has three, man. That's so fucked up. <laughs> We had like three hands in a row with no death cards whatsoever. We get out jokers now though. If he gets a joker, he can actually fuck me up. Wait a minute. Wait. Why do I... Huh? Why do I have to decide which hand? What? What am I doing? Why? I drew a second joker card. Then I click... I didn't click an item. Wait, huh? Why do I have to select the hand? Did something break? Don't do mine? Did I actually- What could I have- Did it glitch out? I guess I do yours. Wait, what? No, 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 but he has death cards in there. I don't want to remove his death cards. I'd rather remove one- So this- Let's cons- Let's assume that it's because of the jokers. Um, because- But there should be three jokers, right? I don't know. Maybe the rules slightly change. Maybe the rules rules change every game. Maybe I should have listened to the tutorial. If I click mine, I lose a finger. If I click his, he will lose two death cards. I'd rather have him just draw his death cards and lose a finger. I totally... I don't care losing a finger. I mean, I know it fucking sucks having to chop off my finger. But it's not permanent. He dies. He killed himself. See? It was way better this way. Because <laughs> I don't lose anything. Unless you lose the entire game, removals of fingers aren't permanent. Okay, that was way better. And we didn't even have to use any... How many? We only have the camera, right? No, we still have three items. Okay, that was... I mean, that was just completely carried by RNG. What can I say? I didn't really do much there. That was... Uh, that was kind of fucked up on his part. Okay, we're clearing the full board. I guess we'll do these three here. We're in such a good shape. We're saving up more. Hopefully, we get one item. <laughs> Let's go. One item. Because then we have four items. Which you cannot take more than four items in the... In a match anyway. Okay, well... <laughs> do you want either... The ability to see all your cards... Or the ability to see one card? Um, I mean, I guess you can use it on the enemy's hand, but... <laughs> definitely the camera. Fucking... The, what a choice, man. What are you? It's just a better item all around. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We are in a good shape to do a to do a game right now. We don't have. Well, we have the way to redraw our items, right? We can reshuffle. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we're in. There's six death cards. Okay, I think this is a situation where it actually gives us a ton of information to use this and then use this. It is still warm. Discard all cards in your current hand and redraw new ones. Okay, we're gonna look. 
Let's see how un unlucky we are. Maybe we have none and well one and he has five. Imagine. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> it seems my luck has turned. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? All right, so I have four. He's got two. I'm gonna draw this one. <laughs> And then we're gonna reshuffle. Get fucked, idiot. Okay, he already drew a death card, so he's only got one more. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna do this, right? A severed hand is still warm. Discard all cards in your current hand and redraw new ones. Yes, absolutely. What the fuck? Are you eating it? Oh, you're throwing it away. Okay, you redrew. Wait, we got nothing! No, no, we have one. Because he had one, I have one, right? Because there's still one in his hand. Okay. I don't think that's worth camming for. We just draw them. We just draw the death card. It's fine. I think that that's how we're going to play this. So, and then... Well, it's fine. If I draw death, whatever. Now I have three safe cards. It is what it is. We're just going to have to chop off a finger real quick. Don't worry about it. <laughs> chop. <laughs> Lovely. Hey, Thriller, what's up? Okay, he drew death card as well. So now, wait a minute. Is this worth it or do we save the item? So, we know there's zero death cards. We can make him reshuffle his hand. I mean, I think that's a, a, a decent uh, use of this item, honestly. It's gonna basically skip two turns for him. I think we're doing it. I think we're reshuffling. Well, unless we can see if he gets... If he gets like a hand with no death cards, maybe that's better to use it on that. I think I think that's a good point. Uh, we're just gonna draw through this. If we were in a particular, like in a in a risky spot here, we might have wanted to use it. But since we're not, we can just play it safe. All right, he draws the last save. So let's see how many does he get. So he gets two, which is fine. It just depends on how many I get. Let me get zero. Okay, one. That's totally... Oh, he gets fucked, dude. <laughs> He's getting screwed. Man. Especially considering I have items I can use. It it's almost feels bad right now. He's, there's one in each. Okay, do which one? One, two, three, four. Uh, one, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm picking... You guys use... One? One. I'm seeing many ones. You, you did it. You saved me. I saw also many twos. We can do two. Okay. This is... I mean, we can literally just play it out. We have so many more fingers. I think we save our item here. I think we save our items for a potential situation in which he doesn't draw many death cards. I saw many, many threes. Okay, I'll pick the middle one. You fucked me up. I mean, I'm assuming that's what you meant with three. Maybe you meant the last one. You can just make up what you wanted. So there's no death cards anymore. It's fine. Uh, he better draw a, a bunch of death cards here. Okay, only one, but that's still totally fine. It depends on how many we get. We get one, two. Okay, we win the game. There's nothing he can do. We can just draw through all these. Even if we draw the death card, it's totally fine. It, it doesn't matter because I have more fingers. Get screwed, sir. Get absolutely outplayed with nothing you can do. His side of this is so scary. Oh, wait, unless he draws a death card right now or a joker card. Okay, so the last one he has is a death card. Which one do we draw? One or two? What is the safe one? <laughs> soul, soul Assassin, thank you for the prop. Okay, see, many ones. You actually, you guys are, is someone hacking? Are you guys hacked into my game right now? How the fuck do you keep doing this? <laughs> you guys are so good at guessing, man. <laughs> Okay, good job, gamers. Yeah, you guys are hackers. All right. So we still, we actually saved our items there. That was huge. Okay, go up another fight. Another fight immediately? All right, we can go to the store. We should have definitely gone to the store before doing that. I just didn't expect it would be another fight. That's fine, though. All right. Uh, four death cards total. Is that a situation where we camera? I think, I think we do want to, I mean, does it help us at all to camera? I don't think it helps us at all to... So in the situation in which it would help us to camera right now is if we have four and he has zero, then we can make him redraw his hand. Right? But the information itself doesn't do anything. I feel like cam... Because once... I think cameraing right now is actually useful. Because after the first hand, 
you always know how many cards are death cards are in each hand which i don't know if the game is intended to be like that by the way it feels a little cheaty um because of the way like when i draw my last card i will reshuffle because of the delta of the like count increasing um i know how many cards i have so it's now or never like it's safe for later there's literally no point we either use it now or we don't use it at all in this entire mission the first four are the most important so i think we're going to use it to get the information so then we know the entire situation immediately okay so there we both have two okay that's totally fine um if if we had three i think i would have probably made him redraw his hand uh let's save that joker card so we can maybe get lucky if he draws one as well um please get the please get a joker card i think i'm actually gonna draw, draw my death card before i draw the joker is that an insane thing to do i think it's a good thing to do i'm gonna draw this on purpose because then i can get the second joker which apparently i don't know why it's only two jokers now because this will allow me to have the choice on what did he draw i didn't see him so he has just two death cards there so there's no point i guess i could just do the joker now it doesn't matter why would you do that you if you ask me why did you do that you don't understand the rules of the game because we cannot skip cards we cannot skip cards playing the second joker gives you the choice on which hand to clear from death cards basically the way jokers work i thought it was supposed to be three but i guess it's two now or maybe it's still three i don't know maybe it was bugged that last round if there let me just assume it's three if there's a third joker card on the board you draw it whoever draws it let's just put it that way whoever draws the third joker gets to decide which of the hands should be cleared of death cards however the big twist is if there's no death card in the hand that person loses a finger so you can choose the enemy when they have no death cards and then they will lose a finger however i don't think that's like almost ever useful because of like what it should what i think it should do instead it should make them like lose the entire game or lose two fingers because right now even like i don't know I, it, it feels always better to clear your own death cards than to make the enemy lose one finger like I don't know. Unless you only have one death card, and even in that scenario, it might still be better. Uh, where's my finger? All right, we need to get a little lucky with this next hand. So we draw... We have one death card in our pile, because I looked at the thing real quick. It's so annoying you're locked in so many cutscenes. Um, how many does he have? So he has zero! I have one, so let me go over that situation, right? We both had a death card. I picked a death card. Then... Wait, do I even have two? No. I have one, and he has zero. That's the only situation. I have to make him reroll, for sure. Okay, now he has two, which is way better. Okay. Uh, I mean, third one. Okay. this We just need to draw a joker now, hopefully. That's way better. We actually got good use out of that item. Uh, safeguard still. I mean, zero, from going from zero death cards to two is incredible. Uh, I'm doing one. Okay, wait, so is this going to work again? No. So it was just bugged that one round. Very strange. <laughs> Very strange that I got to do the Joker thing after two Jokers, but whatever. Uh, so we really want to... He still has one. I still have one. Which one do we get? One or two? I've seen many twos. Stevie's to five. Thank you for the... A lot of donation. Uh, I really hope this is a joker. All right, you guys killed me. I mean, you didn't. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Dang it. Okay, please don't... He draws a safe one. Please be a joker. Okay, unlucky. How many do I get? I get two death cards. That's very unfortunate. Okay, wait. Are we both at one finger right now? Wait a minute. What is the situation? Wait, so I drew... Did I get two or three? I think I got two, and he has three, right? Okay, so we win. Like, uh, almost 100%, unless I draw... Unless he is the most... Unless I draw two death cards in a row, and he draws two safe ones in a row, which would be incredibly rare. All right. Uh, I'm gonna pick the middle one. Or, I don't know. <laughs> which I have two, he has three. Uh, I don't know. Pick three and four. Four three one three 
Okay, well, that's unlucky. <laughs> oh, no. We can actually lose. <laughs> There's one more death card in here. We need to do a poll. Can we do a one, two, three, four poll? Okay, he... Wait, he loses. Never mind. We don't have to do it. <laughs> okay, false alarm. False alarm. We're fine. Ooh, alrighty. That was a close one. <laughs> that jack-in-the-box came in so clutch there. Okay, uh... Goodness gracious. We have no items at all, right? Yeah, we really need to go to the store. Let's go to the store. Um... So we can... Because the store also refreshes every few games. That was a scary one, but hey, we win. Cambo, thank you for the six months in advance. Holy shit. Okay. Um, Because we need to just stock back up on items, and you can only buy three items uh, each time. How many freaking fingers do we have? We have so many. Yeah, we get to keep our fingers, which is really good. <laughs> we have ten. Is ten even the... Is ten the max? I feel like we should have way more. I mean... Obviously, I'm getting all of it. <laughs> There's not really... I think this game is like... It's already super fun. And it could they could make like a few changes. Like a few tactical changes to make it less RNG and more strategy to make it even better. Like they need to add some more ways to, to get rid of cards um, without using items. And there need to be like more Joker cards. The Joker need to be more punishing. Because that could be like such a fun strategy to play around. Having those like crazy Jokers. Um, like where you you pick yourself for the enemy. Okay, this is an interesting one. So discard all cards in your hand and redraw new ones. Um, or get rid of a death card. That's a tough one. I mean, I feel like if you have a camera, hand is incredible. If you don't, cross is better. We don't have a camera right now, so cross will be better, but we can probably get a camera. I don't know. Can we get a camera before the next match? It just comes down to complete RNG. Because the hand almost does nothing. I think the cross is just way safer right now. Because the hand almost does nothing. The hand is incredible if you have a camera, but because we don't have a camera right now, I think it's safer. We just need to stock back up on items. Um... Wait, where's the- Oh, we got a wishbone and a stapler. Yeah, we- I mean, we have a stapler, so we should be safe. Uh, it's fine. Maybe we should have taken a hand because we knew with the stapler we would probably survive the round, but... That's- it, it's- we're- we're metagaming this so- or we're- we're tactic- we're <laughs> playing this like it's the most insane strategy game ever made. Uh, okay, well, we get the hand anyway! So this one allows you to... Reveal the cards in the enemy's hand. Well, here we go. Never punished. <laughs> Never punished, baby. We get both. That's so good. So now we have the... How does this shuffle the items? I really wonder how I lost that one cross in the last game. Remember that? I had two crosses on my plate, and then suddenly when I got into the mission, one of them turned into a wishbone, which honestly was what killed me in the end. I was so strange. I don't know how that happened. I think that's a fine setup, though. I mean, maybe we don't need the snake. Wait, wait. Do we even have any use for the snake at all? I don't think we do because we don't have any like way for the enemy to reshuffle their hands. So let's do it like this. Um, yeah, if we have knife, we can do that. We need to wait for knife. Okay, let's uh, go this way. Gee, we're <laughs> getting so many fucking items, dude. Can I get a knife? Yeah, it's the opposite of camera. Okay, well, cross for sure. This item needs to be removed from or changed. I think this item... If they change it to where you, when you select a card, you can then choose to discard it or leave it. I think that would be a really fun change to this. And it wouldn't make it OP at all. Because you could use it in many different situations. You could use it on the enemy, you could use it on yourself. Um, I think that would be a really clever play or a really clever change to the game. Oh my god, it never ends. It's a path of five items back to back to back. What the fuck, dude? Okay. We can... Oh, no, no, no. Wishbone is always better than Snake. Snake really doesn't do anything unless you have Jack in the Box or Knife. So we're gonna definitely go for Wishbone. What in the fuck? Did, does it change my, my setup of items? No, it did not change. So there was definitely a bug there. I mean, obviously, sometimes there's gonna be bugs. Do we wanna... Honestly, I think we wanna swap this out. I think we wanna set it up like this. Because we really wanna have... The, the crosses are just so much better. The board is complete RNG, yes. We're collecting so many items right now. Okay, there we go. Finally a battle. <laughs> it's 
So I have two crosses. There better be two crosses when I get into the game. Otherwise, it's a scam. Okay, so what we learned, this the game should explain you this, man. You cannot take the same item into a game twice. Why does it allow you to do that? That is stupid. It shouldn't allow you to put them on the <laughs> on the plate if you're not allowed to take that. I don't know. Oh, yeah, but before I had two cameras, I don't. I guess it's just a bug. It's fine. It happens. Okay, so... Hmm. I guess we just start with... Do we start with a cross? I think we... St I think we don't. I think we just start fucking r running it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well... Whoopsie do. <laughs> we'll be fine. He draws safe. Okay, please don't tell me I have three death guards here. I would be so mad. Um... He gets a death card too. Okay. There's only one remaining and it's definitely not worth using it now. We're just gonna wait until we have full information. Uh, there's only one. Well, hopefully it's not mine. Joker card? That's kind of good. Alright, please. No! <laughs> I had two, he had one. That's so bullshit. Alright, well, it is what it is. We now have, I guess we... I mean, how could I know? Alright, here we go. We are gonna get... How many cards? Three death cards? Are you insane? He has one? Um, I think that's a reshuffle situation. That is a hand situation. Fuck this, dude. I have to skip this hand. Get rid of it. Okay, so we have four right now. Let's get rid of my hand. How many do we get after this? Please don't give me three again. Okay, we... Wait, we only have one now. Which means that if we get rid of it, we have none. Okay, let's... Right? I have three. He has one. And now I have... One. Yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of the one death card. So then he will draw one for sure. Uh, Okay, there we go. I'm also going to use... I mean, should we... We can wait a little bit with stapler. Because we can use it when we're like in a dire situation. And we might not even want to use it at all. Maybe we'll save it for... Like, maybe we'll just lose this round no matter what we do. We don't know. Like, maybe this round is impossible to win. Um, Please give me a joker. I mean, give him a joker and then let me draw a joker. Okay, he gets to eat his hand. Yummy, yummy. Okay. He has two down, right? So we're, we're tied now again. We're tied, which is huge. And I have still one item. So I'm basically one ahead. So now it's RNG plus I can slightly... So I should win unless I get really fucked over here. How many? Oh, Joker card. Okay, so we have two, which is really bad. But hopefully he gets two or more. Um, okay, I have to pick. Please give me a Joker because then I can get rid of all my death cards. Joker here would go so hard. What do you think? Uh, I, middle has done well for us. Five? Five. Okay, here you go. You guys got it. You guys got it. Don't draw a joker. Okay. We really need a joker. I also I saw many people say four. I'm doing four then. Okay, you guys are actually insane with this. Wait, how many did he draw? It's three now. How many death cards do I have again? He only has one. Fuck. So I have two, he has one. That's really bad. I really want a joker, man. Please. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Two? two well it was two and three anyway that's unfortunate okay this is bad we really don't draw a fucking joker man if he draws a joker these are the most fun rounds the one one or two guys one or two <laughs> we need a joker because then we can get rid of the death card one all right everyone say one you fucking killed me i mean you didn't but <laughs> god damn it Unlucky. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I have no death card right now. So let's draw it. Please. Okay, how many do we get? We have one. Oh no. I mean, actually, that's huge. Wait, 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 wait. If we stapler, is it worth. Okay, let's think. So I have one. He has one. So he's gonna be at two fingers. If we staple right here, we basically say leave it up to RNG. 
if we want to win this or not. The stapler is worth if we want to win this round, but if we want to tactically lose it and then have a sta- I guess we'll do the stapler. We go big, we go big or we go home. It's just as I was thinking that maybe saving the stapler and just losing this round on purpose might be okay, but I guess we should go for win. Uh, all right, I'm just grabbing middle. Okay, unlucky. Don't have a joker. Okay, no, he has a death card, of course. All right, so I have one. How many does he have? How many does he have? He has two. Wait, we, we win. We win. Unless we get super unlucky with our last card. All right, come on. Dude, this is, this is going to be very tricky. Uh, give me... Give me this one. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Alright, unless he he draws the minimum amount of death cards, we're in trouble. Come on, draw uh, give me a Joker. And then I wait. Wait a minute, Joker will be horrendous here. If I get a Joker, I lose the game. Cause I can't pick myself, because then I would chop off a finger. If I choose him, he loses his death cards. Oh fuck! We don't want a joker. <laughs> Do not give me a joker, please. Okay, don't do it. Draw a death card. No, you son of a ding dong. Don't do joker, please. Okay, come on. You gotta draw a death card, man. He actually is so fucking lucky. He has two death cards, you son of a bitch. Okay, how many do I, I get two? No. I have a two in five chance to die here. Come on. All right, what do you say? This is a, this is a poll situation. This is a poll situation. Vote one, two, three, four, five. You guys get to decide. <laughs> Can we get a poll? <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, also my time changed, by the way. I know it's already pinned, but Let's see. <clears throat> oh boy. It's a three and five to survive. So you guys better not fuck this up. Okay. <clears throat> or for death. It's pretty even. I'm seeing 27% for two and 22% for five. I mean, this one's winning. So here we go. We're gonna say second. We better not lose here. I'm blaming all of you. Oh my god, you saved me. Let's go. And now we win. Right? You fucking did it again. How do you keep doing this, man? This is why we pull, because you guys are insane at this game. You're the most lucky son of a bitches of all time. <laughs> Let's go. All right. That was a fucking close call and a half, man. All right, we need to put some more items on there. It really is so stupid. We could have, that could have been so much better if we had items, but for some reason the game was, so we cannot have this. Or maybe we can, I don't know. Maybe it's just a bug with the crosses. I'm going to try two wishbones. Unless we get another item in before that. All right, can we go to the store? Is the store back open? The store is back open. Wait, wait, wait. How many fingers do we have? Because if we only have five, it's not really worth it. But if we have six, if we have more than six, we can... Oh, we have eight. I think eight is fine. I think with eight, we can almost buy, always buy all the items. Unless they're all going to cost three. So let's just go for it. Um, and there's a lot of items that cost two. So we'd have to be... I mean, we wouldn't even have to be unlucky. Because the three items are really good. Uh, let's see. What do we get? I think we've seen all the items now, though. Okay, so, I mean, we get it. Pocket knife plus snake. Pocket knife plus snake. And a stapler is huge, dude. Okay, those were really good items. We don't get camera, but I actually like this better. Because we have crosses, and crosses kind of make the... Uh, yeah, so here it swapped this one because the wishbone wasn't actually added. That, that's definitely something they should include in the tutorial somewhere that you cannot have two of the same item. Because uh, here it replaced it because it wasn't actually on the plate. Uh, so what do we take? We definitely take snake and this. And then wishbone. I think we take stapler over wishbone for sure. I think this is a good combination. We have cross. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure with this we could, should be able to win any game. Yeah, I had two cameras, but that was just because it was the free camera from the beginning, and it was probably bugged somehow. Like, it, it, the game is a little janky in a few spots, but it's fine. Um, that was just the first camera that we got for free. Hello, sir. 
There are four. Okay. So what we can do is snake. I think snake is worth it. It's like in a similar way that it's worth it to get a, do a camera early. It's also worth to do snake early. So let's do snake. We got a snake. What in the frick? Hello, snake. I get to see your cards. Aha, so you have two, I have two, which means, I mean, the best case scenario for cross is to get rid of one death card, right? So why don't we do that? <laughs> why don't we just get rid of one death card? Um, we're not gonna use the pocket knife right now because there's no point, right? I mean, I guess this combo, the pocket knife is really fucking bad. Now that I think of it, because what's even the point of me using the pocket knife right now? Because I know he's gonna draw through them anyway. There's really no point in using the pocket knife to force him to draw that. So let's not do it. <laughs> okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get one death card. It's okay. Yeah, we use it a little later. But later we have no information. So it's just gonna... I guess if we want to, like, have our own fate in our hands. If we want to force him to draw a card because we think it's a death card for whatever reason... <laughs> I think we should have maybe the snake maybe I made a mistake using the snake early I I didn't re I it was the first time we used the snake I think we should what what we learned here I mean I guess I could have already predicted that is that we should wait until it's like one or two fingers then use the snake and knife combo that was just a misplay I mean it was the first time we used it we got a little too excited um because there's no point in knowing his first hands okay so we have two death cards which is un unfortunate uh, but that's fine. I guess we just... I mean, we have literally no choice, so... Unless... Wait. Oh, fuck. I, I was dragging, but it clicked anyway. Unless it also counts as making him take an extra turn. Maybe it does? Or does it only, like, make him take... Wait, what does it say? I need to know. How many does he have? He has one. That's so bad. Uh, decide which card your opponent must select from their hand. So I have two, he has one, right? But, wait, he has two? I have one? Oh, because I already drew a death card. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so yeah, that's amazing. Wait, that's actually huge. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. We just draw through them. That's the thing. I wish there was slightly more... As I said, I, I know I've already said this. Slightly more pog moments with the like having to choose specific cards. There's only a few moments where you're like, okay, here it really matters if I draw a safety over or a death card. Because a lot of the time you just have to draw through all your cards before you get to the next hand. Okay, so he has one, I have zero. Uh, so we just draw all our, our my cards. It doesn't matter. Do your thing. We get a joker. Jokers are actually kind of... So he, there's no death cards remaining. Oh, this is, this is nice. And we still have a stapler, so we should win this round easily. Okay, another joker. Wait a minute, he could actually cost, so I have three? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Um, well then, we could staple, but I think we might not even be able to win. E oh, wait, he only has one. Let's just draw. Draw one card. Which one do you say? Middle? I see many people say middle. You actually saved me. You're in fucking insane at this. I have two. I know. So now he gets two. Okay. So it's a game of... I mean, I should be able to win with the stapler, right? I'm kind of curious. Do we have another snake? I'm really curious if the pocket knife makes him take a turn immediately. Or if it... I kind of want to try it. It might not do anything. I'm just curious because then it would just make it safer and then we can save the stapler. What the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Uh, which one? Which one is his... Maybe? Which one is his death guard? Or do I get to pick one from him? The fourth one, second one. I'm seeing many. I'm seeing many fours. I'm seeing many fours. You fucked it up. You got a safety. Okay, wait. What? No, so it doesn't. It it just it cues his next hand. Okay, we're fucked now. Uh, we fucked up. Uh, I'm gonna say one. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
His four, not yours. <laughs> You're just fucking rewriting history because it didn't work out. Wait, we win. We win. All right, <laughs> let's go. Wait, what? Oh, no, so it did work like that. No, it was totally fine. So the pocket knife is just a better wishbone then because it makes him take an extra turn and you can decide which... That's a little bit weird in this game that there's several items, like the eyeball and the wishbone are just worse versions of other items. Okay, anyway, it's fine. Uh, we have so many fucking wishbones, dude. What do we even do with this crap? Because we can only take one at a time. Okay, here we go. Uh, we still have all our fingers. We can also go back to the store now. Please give me some good items. Sucks that you can't take two staples then. Uh, severed hand is incredible. Stapler match. Oh, I should. I thought I had ten fingers. Wait, how do? How did I not have ten fingers? Didn't we play two matches? Okay, I. Sh I mean, I. Th I definitely wanted to take those in that order. Stapler and severed hand is better than matchbox, but I wish I could take all of them. I'm broke. Um. Okay, so now we add those. Wait. So. Ha! Huh? I have two staplers. On We'll see how it turns out. I don't understand. Sometimes you cannot take two, and other times you can. Very weird. Yeah, we only played one match. Okay. Uh, we need to... We still have some more space. Up here, we're gonna... Okay, well, that's totally fine. So, ev after every match, the shop gets enabled again? <laughs> Wait, so you can't have two staplers? Okay, so th there's just some bugs in the game. <laughs> like, you can have two staplers, but not two crosses, not two wishbones. Whatever. Okay, five total. What do we do? Uh, I mean, there's nothing we can do, really. So we just fucking start drawing. I'm doing the middle one. Choker. He immediately draws death. That's huge for us. We just have to draw to this one. Unless... This game would be so different if... It would like make every player draw their hand and then wait until you, and then make you both draw the hands at the same time so you wouldn't know the exact death count. I, it almost feels like it's not intended to work this way, but I'm fucking gonna take it. <laughs> Cause like after the first hand, you have perfect information, which I don't know. <laughs> it's, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> Cause it helps me out to win. Um. All right, he is getting very unlucky here and I'm getting super lucky. I mean, there could still be three death cards in my hand. Ah, no. Don't you do it. <laughs> Mr. Ella, thank you for the two. Okay, he's drawing another death card. He's getting absolutely screwed, man. He drew three death cards back to back to back. <laughs> what the fuck, sir? Unlucky. <laughs> and I get another Joker. Wait, this could actually be interesting if he draws a Joker too. Okay, so now it's just a 50-50. Who get... I mean, he's already gotten fucked by RNG so much. Uh, I'm just gonna take mine. What? He got four cards? He had four death cards and I had one. That's so unlucky. I have... How many did I have? It updated. <laughs> what the fuck? I think I had two, right? I have two. He has one. Okay. So, I mean, I can just draw through this because we win. We won the game. We don't have to use any items. It doesn't matter because he, we will draw five cards. He will draw five cards. Even if our next card will be, a, even if the next card from the, from the hand after this uh, will be death. It doesn't matter because we have enough fingers to go through. So he's just fucked. <laughs> We're not going to even use an item. There's no point. There he goes. Goodbye. <laughs> Unless Joker, that's actually... There hasn't really been a Pog Joker play. We got, like, one useful Joker play. I think two useful Joker plays in the entire playthrough so far. Um, I mean, I guess we just stick to this because we cannot take two wishbones. I don't think we... Do we want to go back to the store? I mean, I think so, potentially, if we can. Just to see what's in the store. I don't think there's a reason not to go to the store. I think it's always better. Because you can see what's in the store and just need grab what you need. Because we don't really need a stapler right now. Um, Holy Cross. Ooh, Jack in the Box. I think we just take both of these and skip the Wishbone. We can also take the Wishbone, but I honestly think we skip this one. Because we really don't need another fucking Wishbone. We already have three or three Wishbones. Fuck that, dude. 
Okay, this is going so freaking. We need to maybe set up our, our items differently. Wait, let's see. This game is so enthralling, man. I'm so into it. We, I think having... I think the cross is... Just, the wishbone is just so bad, we're gonna save them. Um, and I think redrawing his hand over having a second stapler. Because you can get super unlucky with the stapler. I mean... I think this is just a very versatile setup of uh, of items. So we can do, we can handle a lot of different situations. Okay, let's, uh, what is this gonna be? It's another item. I would like to have pocket knife again. Pocket knife is actually very good. Cra okay. I mean, I think stapler is just objectively better than cross right because cross prevents a, a death card stapler gives you a life back so <laughs> no it's not same value because if you have no death cards and you use cross nothing will happen whereas if you have no death cards and you just draw through it the stapler can be used next round so it's literally like there is no choice the only correct choice there is stapler if we couldn't take two of the same item we might have had to think different there, but because you can, there is no choice. Guff, thank you for the prime. Okay, let's go... There... Oh, what is this? Oh, we win! Wait, <laughs> that was the door we were looking for? Let's go, dude. That was so fucking fun. I had a great time with that. What a good game. This is free, by the way. You can check this out for yourself if you want. Oh, wait, yeah, of course. I Wait, I am the guy? Is that the twist? <laughs> I am the guy I've been playing against this whole time. What a twist, dude. So yeah, that was amazing. That was Limb for a Limb. If you want to check it out for yourself, it's on Steam. Let me know if you want to see me play through this again. Do another playthrough. See if we can win in a single life. Because here we died once and then we had to pick it back up again and uh, win on the second life. But yeah, we got like two really unlucky rounds. That was super fun. The items are very clever. I, as I said throughout the uh, video, I think there's a few things they could change to make it even more strategic, uh, especially the Joker being more punishing and being more common as well. Cause I really think the Joker is such a genius idea uh, and it should be utilized more. Cause we really only saw like two Jokers. We saw three Joker moments in the entire playthrough and we played for like over an hour. Uh, another thing would be uh, like removing some of the objectively worse items like the eyeball or change the eyeball, right? As I said, that you can choose to discard the card you look at. That would be really cool. Um, and yeah, I, th I think those are my only few complaints. I had a lot of fun. Let me know what you thought. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the Love the Game and Share in Chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv. Since we're the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go. You guys did insane in that one, by the way. You saved me so many times. Thank you, chat. That was, that was all yours. Uh, all right. We're going to hop into the next game, which that game was actually way longer than I expected. I thought that was only going to be 30 minutes. Uh, I was very wrong. We're going to be playing The Stalked now, which is a game about a lady who gets stalked by someone. So if you have any traumatic experiences with stalking, you might not want to skip out on this one. Probably that guy right there. <laughs> Probably that guy is going to stalk this lady. Give me just one second. I'll be right back.
Hello there. Oh, we got nice music. We're jamming. Nice sweater is my favorite. Yeah, I love this one. Um, it's a little loud, maybe slightly. Ultra recommended. Let's go. All right, hop in. Hello, lady. Stalker music. Hello there. I have to break up with Liam, and I hope he takes it well. Something, given the title of this game being The Stalked, I don't think he's going to take it very well. Okay, here we are. So this game looked very similar to, like, uh, Fears to Fathom, where you have, like, this semi-open world where you meet a bunch of people, talk to them. I don't know if there's multiple endings. Uh, I need to make some food. I am hungry. But why don't you eat these chips right here? Original flavor. What's, what's the best flavor of chips? I know that is very contentious topic. I am a, I am a natural enjoy. I mean, anything spicy, anything hot and spicy, I'm loving it. Uh, I've turned on. Do should I not put some oil in there? Where's my oil? Oil from the fridge. I'm just gonna put it in organic food, salt and vinegar. Okay. I mean, that's looking pretty yummy. Oh, who would be knocking on my door at this hour? Uh, I think it might be the guy you were talking about. Spicy honey barbecue. That sounds delicious. Do best popcorn flavor. I'm... Oh, you? Who's there? Hey, honey. Can I come in? Uh, Liam, I told you it's over. No, you can't come in. Come on. You can't just leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's over, Liam. Just go home. Open the door, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You will be mine again soon. Okay, well, this guy sucks. <laughs> Big time. Uh, I should call the cops, I feel. This is, this, I feel like this is already warranting uh, a quick cop call situation. Food should be ready by now. I don't know. Maybe I'm fucked up to think that if it was reversed roles, you wouldn't call the cops. But in this situation, as being the lady, you would call the cops. Uh, just seems seems like it's fucked up in, in this being all home alone and stuff a bath to calm myself down a bit would be great right now because we also have so many windows here like he could just break in from anywhere and he sounds good i mean it depends on you know the guy right i mean probably not <laughs> very well considering he's gonna probably be stalking us uh anyway let me go to the bathroom and just pretend this is an insane house by the way this you live alone in this house this is like a penthouse situation. Look at this. We got... Wait, 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 wait. What the... F okay, never mind. We're on a flat. Like on a skyscraper. There's no way he's going to break in, right? Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, we should be safe. As long as our door... This is incredible. What a house. Okay. Uh, this is... <laughs> this is like... I don't even know how expensive a house. We're freaking balling. We're rolling in it. All right, I should go continue to do the objectives of the game. I was just a little bit enamored with this house for one person, man. Goodness gracious, look at this bathroom. Uh, we got that giant tub. Okay, never mind. What was that? How did you break through a window? Did you freaking Spider-Man across the wall of the skyscraper? What the fuck? Excuse me. Um, I should run. Am I gonna die? He used the plungers. He used the toilet plungers. Hello? I should run. I should run. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Call the police. Um. What? Give me another chance, please. I will treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I ask. It can't be too much to ask, can it? You just threw a fucking rock through my window. No, I want nothing to do with you. No, no, no. I gotta leave before he does something worse. How the fuck did he even throw this? How in the actual hell did he throw that through my window? That's a giant rock. Did he fucking launch it from a drone? Did he freaking... Has, does he have a cannon mounted on another skyscraper and he shot it at me? How the fuck? <laughs> I feel like this does not make any sense. But anyway, 
<laughs> He's got a cat. Oh my god! What the fuck? Help! 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 He's in the house, bro! Okay, no wonder he could- he was- he climbed up the balcony, I guess. What in the fuck? <laughs> this game is scary. Okay. I'm alright. Yeah, let me call the cops real quick. Please? Grandpa? Why not police? Unless Grandpa's a cop. Just give him another chance. Now I know why he could throw it through the window, yeah. Hello, Grandpa, I need your help. Hey, Kate, what's going on? Liam broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away and now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. That's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you or something? No, I got away before he could do something, but I'm terrified he will find me. Okay, I assure you, you're looking f I assume you're looking for a place to stay for a while. This is the most insane conversation. You're like, yeah, let's run away from your stalker. Call the cops. Why, why is none, why is that not your first instinct? Yes. You can come live with me for as long as you need. However, I'm going to be out for a, on a business trip for one week. That is fine. I'm still safer. Gonna be safer than staying here. Can I go there right now? Yes, I'll send you the- The cops will definitely do something if you show them the rock that he threw through your window. Like, I know the cops don't do anything until there's a crime committed. I feel like throwing a rock through a window is a crime. Yes, I'll send you the address. The key to my house is in a flower pot. I know that, like, getting a restraining order wouldn't stop the most insane stalker, but also remember to... It was in a flower pot, right? The key, I need to remember that. Also remember the door to keep the doors locked. And if you need to go outside, you could always check the peephole first. Okay, thanks again, Grandpa. You are a lifesaver. No problem. I hope all goes well. And don't hesitate to call me. Um... What the fuck?! Hi, it's fucking Mark Zuckerberg, dude. Help! Run away! The Zuck! He's after me! <laughs> no wonder we're so rich! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. It's Tony Hawk. <laughs> the Zuck, dude. Alright, we're fine. Escape Liam for now. That was a close call, thank God I made it out. I freaking killed him. He wants me to try out his new headset. Liam won't be able to find me anymore now. Are you sure? I have finally broken free from the toxic relationship. I mean... He can just follow you, right? Or maybe he put like a tracker on your car? He put an air tag in your freaking backseat, man. He's gonna get you. He's, he's freaking Mark Zuckerberg. He knows your location wherever you are. He's got cameras in your bathroom. You can't do shit, man. He knows everything about everyone. Oh God. Oh no. Did Liam manage to follow me here? The crazy thing even the 20 gift subs. I'm getting too paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. Yeah, probably just a neighbor in the middle of fucking nowhere. He's tracking my phone via Facebook right now. Uh oh, log out of Facebook. This is why I'm glad I don't have Facebook. <laughs> uh, I am in trouble. Press F to turn on my flashlight. Okay, I got a flashlight. Oh, it's my phone flashlight, I see. This is one old place in the middle of nowhere. Let's get further from law enforcement. What a great idea. Okay, the key was in the flower pot, yes. I see it right there. Not there. <clears throat> We're gonna get zucked. Oh, it's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the bedroom. I want to hit the bat bed ASAP. All right, close the door, please. Lock the door. There we go. I've locked the door. I can always use the peep peephole, right? You use the peephole for the first time achievement. Thank you so much. Better safe than sorry. Uh, we need to find the bedroom. Turn on some lights. That is one. I think I've played a game with exactly this house recently. Wasn't it that game where you went, you were like a vlogger going into the forest and like recording a haunted house or something? I think so. <laughs> I, do I have to turn on all the lights? That is a nice bathroom. Old, but nice. A little rustic and broken here and there. Okay, outside is locked. I make sure, I gotta make sure all the doors are locked. Let's not keep this light on for no reason. Um. I thought I heard someone trying to try the door, man. Shit's spooky. Everything is creaky as hell. Do I have any messages? The fuck was that sound? Uh, this is... What the fuck is with that chair, man? Chair is mighty broken. 
I can't wait. I'm getting a chair. I bought a chair and it was the most comfy chair I've ever sat upon. It was like this huge fluffy chair, but it's a for so, f furniture takes so fucking long to arrive, man. I bought my furniture and it takes like three months before they, they get it in your house. And I'm like, can I just get my new chair? I want my chair, man. <laughs> it, I can't wait to sit on it. Uh, this is the bedroom. Am I going to hit the sack? I should probably turn off the lights first. All right, go to bread. <clears throat> Let me guess. We're going to have a sleep paralysis demon. Oh, never mind. We no, it's 4 a.m. Wow, I slept that. Oh, it's 4 p.m. It's like me. It's she's like me for real, for real. I'm what the fuck? I was shaking. I mean, I'm not that bad, but I am pretty bad at waking up on time. Is Grandpa home already? Check the door. It is nice now. Relatable. She she must be a live streamer. We can wake up at any time. Also, this is just broken off the wall. That seems like a problem. I'm going to check the people. I'm not going to just open the door. I'm not a stupid idiot. There's no one here. Don't open the door. Don't. I don't want to open the door. I have to open the door. I guess I'll open the door then. Ooh, there's a letter. Dearest new residents of this mansion, I'm the previous owner of this mansion, and you are the person I've been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we will get along just fine. I will be watching you. What the fuck are you talking about? My grandpa lives here. What? What? <laughs> are you my grandpa? Is my grandpa playing in an escape room watching me? This is a stra strange thing to say at least. Okay, this... Wait, I need to go... Get going to the store before it gets dark, though. Let's be careful. This is the most insane coincidence ever. I had a dream tonight, and it was one of the weirdest dreams. Sometimes I don't remember any dreams for like a year straight. And recently I've been remembering like all my dreams. My dream was that I was running a business. This is an insane business idea, by the way. If you make this a thing, you have to give me at least some royalties because this 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 idea can go hard. Uh, the The business was you buy we buy we were buying uh abandoned houses in the middle of nowhere and then we made real life horror games in those houses you would drive we would drive someone to the house and then like the car would break down oh the car's broken down and then we would send them ahead could you guys turn on the generator in the shed and then they would go turn on the generator and then i would run off in the forest and scream like ah dying and then we would like fucking fuck with them the whole way through they would get into the house we would close the door behind them <laughs> and it was like it was like a full on escape uh, horror game in the middle of nowhere it was so good and it was <laughs> i was like what the fuck is this dude this is a genius business i need to make this a real thing imagine doing that with the terrible trio cj and psycho and myself go into a haunted house <laughs> that'd be so cool you sure it's a dream? It was so vivid, too. <laughs> yeah, like a real life. Because that's what a lot of horror games are like. They're like this one right here. Where you go to a, a house uh, to do some spooky stuff. Convenience store. Hello there. This is... <laughs> what in the fuck? What is that? Some kind of paper? It is a convenience store in the middle of a forest. Tell me we're in the United States without telling me. That this is the f fucking... <laughs> I mean, maybe not even. Uh, what? A poster has been added to your collection. You found a missing person poster. Is that me? Wow, it's creepy how similar she looks to me. Ashley missing since 2013. Help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Your assistance could make all the difference. This is horrible. I hope they found her. Uh, okay then shopping list oh boy i'm covering it up but we'll be fine canned food snacks soda milk cereal and wine hello sir can i talk to you what in the fuck oh hi there haven't seen you here before are you new yes i just moved in where do you live i don't feel comfortable telling you that good one let's go are you alone uh creepiest question of all time uh i'm in a hurry sorry i gotta go 
<laughs> the snap turn back around. What the fuck? Dude, why are you so... Fr are you the same guy? What an insane beard, though. Never mind, you're not the same guy. He's got the freaking braided beard. What in the hell? Okay, we need uh, canned food snacks. I'm assuming this is snack. Do I need a... I need this. No? I just grab it in my hands? We got... Oh, yeah, here we go. I need that. Thank you. I'm just going to hold it all in my hands. No problem. I need some chips. I need soda. There we go. I need milk. Someone's coming in. Oh, no. Someone's leaving. Milk. We need cereal and we need wine. I know my face is covering it, but you guys can remember a few things, right? And now we need wine. Where am I holding this? I don't know. All right. That's all. Let's go pay for this now. Hello. Hello. Is that all? Yes. All right. The total is $22.50. That was a very cheap wine. <laughs> the white, white is included. This is canned food, chips, wine, milk. Damn, that's some good prices. Especially considering we're in the middle of nowhere. Thank you for shopping here. Also, I can tell you're new to the area. How long are you staying for? In cereal? <laughs> it's 2013. I guess it's very different from now. No problem. I'm not sure yet. Not too long, I would assume. All right, thank you. All right, have a good day, and there are your groceries. Thanks, you too. You don't even look me in the eyes, sir. All right, well, there's so many cars. Where are all these people? Special offer. Where are, why are there so many cars? And there's only one guy. Excuse me? Did they go for hikes, maybe? I guess they're hiking, and I mean, this is a pretty nice- <laughs> What the fuck, bro? You know a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out alone like this. What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I think they're it's best they remain unspoken. Be careful. Don't let me catch you all alone again. I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. What the fuck? <laughs> that got me so good, man. Holy... Okay, we're fine, we're fine. These people are all trying to jump scare me, man. Dude, I love horror games. Let's not forget the groceries in the car. They're so good. How long did, I mean, I guess it was already 4 p.m. by the time that we woke up. Did I turn that light on? I think I did turn that light on. All right, um, I did also lock the door. I'm a smarty. Please tell me the windows aren't broken. If we feel a draft right now, you are leaving. Do you feel like there's a window open that maybe got broken by some psychopath? Do you hear any weird sounds? You gotta go through this checklist. This is what I do when I'm just home alone by myself every day. And not- <laughs> And I'm not even- I don't even have people that are stalking me. At least not that I know of. They might be very good at it. Store groceries in the fridge. There we go. Uh... Fine? We're not fine. We're fucked. All right, time to die. Lay down and die, please. Where's the breaker? Welcome home. Do you want to play a game? Hello? Can I type anything back? You look beautiful in the store today. Yucky. Can't wait to see you again. Who is, is this Liam or is this the other guy? Did I lock the door? I did lock the door. Getting closer? Oh, wait, we're playing. The fuck? I'm soon there. What was that? Someone's upstairs, man. What the fuck? Or what if I'm already there? Oh, you bitch. Hide under the bed. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I going up? Oh, fuck. I'm getting chills. This is scary. Hide, 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 hide. Hide under the bed. I'm here! Check the door. Oh, fuck you. Can I kick him in the balls? I'm glad I locked the door. Um, there's no one. I'm not opening the door. Go fuck yourself. 
That would be actually so dumb. Don't you? Why are you making me do this, man? Why do you make me open the door? I don't want to open the door. What if I go along? What if never make them know your your next move? Okay, there's just a letter on the floor. There's a letter on the floor. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, I just I felt like going outside that way was it, that was still stupid, but at, if the game needs me to go outside. All right, there's just a letter. It's fine. Dearest new residents, congratulations on settling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step you take reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. Hey, what? This is getting out of hand. I need to drive away and call the police before it's too late. Yeah, do you only think about that now, you fucking dumbass? Lock the door. Is he in my car? Is he gonna do one of those moves? I'm checking. He doesn't seem to be in the car. He's not in the back seat. Check the... Oh, I was gonna check the freaking trunk as well. Don't you ta don't you dare tell me he's inside here. No oh, it's broken. Of course, he cut the starting cables, man. Uh, now start. Please start, come on! Well, that didn't work. Something is wrong. I have to get inside and call the cops like right now. I don't think you have signal, lady. That's... Press F to call the cops. Did it say that? <laughs> Press F to call the... What is going on? Oh, there we go. D 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I need help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters, and texts. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at. It's urgent. I understand. I'm dispatching officers to your location right now. Can you describe the nature of the threats? They've been watching me, following me. Okay, they're think they're gonna think I'm insane. The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line with me. Help is on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe and secure location within your home. And make sure to lock your doors. The officer should be there soon. Okay, I have locked the door, right? Okay, where do we hide? Is this it? This looks like a good place to hide. This looks like a good place to hide, man. Maybe, maybe not. Have I done it? Does it want me to hide in a specific spot? Yes, they're they're locked. Oh, please, I needed to press spacebar. <laughs> Help is on the way. Stay strong. I'm here with you until the officers arrive. Someone just tried to open the door. Officers will be there any second now. I can't turn on my flashlight, by the way. I can't crouch. It's gonna be fake. It's fake. I don't trust it. Hello? Why don't you respond to me? It appears that everything is under control now. Our officers apprehended a man in a white van outside your residence? Really? We're bringing him in for questioning. If anything else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Take care. Can you at least fucking talk to me? Thank you for your help. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. What? That is so sussy. Phew, what a relief. I never thought I'd feel safe again, but maybe things get back to normal now. It should be safe. The least realistic part of the game is that the police showed up that fast. It should be safe now. Let's head to the basement outside and restore the power. Okay, find the electrical panel in the basement. There's a basement? Is that outside? I think that's got to be like one of those outside door basement thingy majingies. There it is, of course. Totally gonna be safe. Spooky basement. Flashlight again. Ooh. Oh, if that's one for the bingo right there. A flash that you can't pick up yet before you need it. I'm scared. Do not open. I'm opening it. 
power should be back on now. Can I at least pick the flashlight? God damn it, I can't. All right, well, we're going to have to come back there later. Probably. One more and I got bingo. The Jonas Brothers Company. But I have light right now. Yeah, well, you, you already know my phone is going to break somehow. I should really close that, I feel. Can I not close this, unlock it? That should... You should not have your, like... <laughs> Someone can just go in there, turn off your power every time they want. Even like an animal could do that by accident, maybe. I mean, that would be pretty fucked up. Okay, the lights are back on. I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. Someone's gonna come inside, man, when I'm taking a bath. Can I lock the bathroom door? I can't lock. There's a lock on there. Come on, man. All right, well, there's no curtain. Oh, the best popcorn flavor? Uh, I was just gonna ask you guys what's the best popcorn flavor, salt or uh, salt or sweet? And then I was gonna say, wrong, trick question. It's actually both. Finally, a moment of peace. It's a salt, sweet. If you've never had good, sweet, and salted popcorn, you're missing out. But why would that stranger go so far from me? Whatever, it's over now. Like, both. Like, they're both salted and sweet. You need to have the ones that have, like... Um, they're salted all over, but there's only sugary in specific parts of the popcorn. There's, like, little sugar cubes on them. Like, little crunchy sugar particles. I'm so exhausted that I'm hearing things now. Let's just go to bed. So they're, like, nice and crunchy. You're, like, mostly eating salted popcorn, but then suddenly you're eating, like, a, a chunk of sugar, and you're like, yum, yum, yum. It's so good. Like, it needs to be in... It needs to be... Uh... What is it called when it's not homogenous? It needs to be, like, spread out improperly. So you get the, like, little jits of sugary. It's so good. I mean, you have the right... It Because I've had really bad salt and sweet popcorn. But when you have the right brand, it's it's delicious. Okay. Sorry. We're distracted. We're, we're being stalked right now. It's not time to think of popcorn. Ca caramel salt... Or, um... Salted caramel or just caramel is also very good. I'm fucking gonna die out here. Can I fucking close this door, please? Thank you. I... Yeah, turn on your flashlight, please. Is someone in my house? And we're in my room? What about chocolate? I've never had chocolate popcorn. I didn't even know it existed. What if they arrested my grandpa? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Imagine. What is that noise? Uh-oh. Looks like it's coming from the storage room. Why would you investigate the noise, lady? Just call the cops again. Can I press F to call 911? I can't. I can't press F to call 911. All right, we're just going to do the stupid choice then. We're just going to be a dummy. It was just a nightmare, you piece of shit. You scared the hell out of me, man. I should probably go check how Liam is doing. I mean, the reason all this is happening to begin with is because I broke up with him. It's all my fault? If I just stayed with Liam, I would he would have kept me safe? Is this still a nightmare or are you having severe... No, what the fuck? Are you insane? What the hell is that? No, of course not. What am I thinking? Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure the house is still empty. The house is empty. I still don't feel safe. What the fuck? Where did that come from? Insane victim blaming yourself. Plus trying to... He, she even said outright that it was a toxic relationship. Uh, Check the house. Yes, I'm doing that. Let's see if it's safe in here. I mean, call the cops. There, It was just a nightmare. It wasn't actually a thing. Oh, what the hell? Something looks off about that book. Is it going to be a secret? Dude, 
the escape room house should have like one of those where you pull a bookshelf and then a secret door opens up, man. Does this exist? This has to exist, right? Like, I guess not many people like play horror games for a living or played that many horror games. But imagine a real life fucking horror escape room where you go. Because I've played a lot of escape rooms, but you like do them during the day and like in a controlled room. Like imagine actually in the middle of the forest, you go into an abandoned house and the whole house is an escape room. That would be so fucking cool. We found a hidden room. Okay, well, that's bad. Tickets are... Or they, there's one near you. Uh, what in the fuck? A sudden disappearance. Ashley's whereabouts unknown. 27-year-old Ashley was reported missing on August 15th, 2013 by her husband two days after she disappeared from their home. Last seen in their residence, Ashley's sudden, ab sudden absence has raised suspicions, with her husband emerging as a prime person of interest in the ongoing investigation. While authorities continue the search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley, where she was last seen fucking house. <laughs> uh, let's see. Look, honey, we made the news pretty cool, right? Excuse me? I can't replace you, Ashley. There is no one that is as special as you. Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other options. This is the next day. What the fuck did I do? How am I gonna live without you? Okay, what the fuck are you doing? What is the point of all this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me 10 years later? Uh-oh, this is 2023. I'm assuming that's us right now. Wait, wait, isn't this the date? Wasn't that the exact same date as just now? She is just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will no matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. Uh, why would you want to leave me? I have done nothing but be good to you. Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. You are never leaving me again now. This is 2013 again. Oh, uh, it's probably about time to talk to grandpa about, about what's going on here. This is crazy. That's a human skeleton or skull and, an, and a ring. Why don't you look behind you, lady? You're gonna get smacked. I swear to God, by the way, if calling Liam back after she said the most like insane sentence of all time, that was like, I should go back to this toxic relationship. It's all my fault. If that leads to the good ending, this game is like the most fucked up game I might've ever played. Like that better not have led to the good ending. I swear to God. Grandpa, are you there? Yes, has something happened? A lot has- that, that would be like the worst advice of all time. A lot has been happening. I've received creepy letters and been followed by someone I don't think is Liam. I called the police and they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange, hi strange hidden room in your house that contained some psychotic things to say the least. What? This is insane! Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters in a hidden room. I've lived there for 10 years and I've never seen that. I'll be cutting the business trip short and coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I'd like to think they arrested him, but what if they did didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just to think about it. What do you remember about the person you brought this bought this place from? That could definitely be the case. I remember it. And his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. It was the talk of the town for a while. And his name was John Cena! Sorry. Are you serious? My phone ran out of battery and I didn't have time to bring a charger with me. <laughs> you can't say that. Let's go find a flashlight in case I need it later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. Of course. What is this though? It's locked. Da, 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 da. I fucking told this is like actually once you start paying attention to the tropes in horror games It's incredible how like that one. I think out of the last like 
10 horror games that I've played, at least five of them have had this trope of you seeing a flashlight, not picking it up, and then later being like, oh, I wish I picked up that flashlight. <laughs> you fucking dumbass. I am the flashlight. Yes, of course. I'm just looking around anyone in the trees. If this... Because that's one of the things I really loved about Fears to Fathom, is that there's so many little secrets that you might miss on your first playthrough. For example, in the very first Fears to Fathom, when you're like sitting on the uh, behind the TV eating your dinner, you can actually see someone walk up the stairs. Those like little secrets are amazing, and I was hoping there would be someone out there waiting for me. Uh, but nope, doesn't look like it. There we go. Just have to turn on the flashlight. We're gonna get locked in the basement. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, bro. <laughs> you can't keep doing this to me. I should search for a weapon just in case. Let's start by looking through grandma's uh, grandpa's office upstairs. Why didn't he tell us if there was a weapon? It's just a creaky house. It's just a creaky house. It's fine. Grandpa's office. That's this one, right? Yes. Is it gonna... I'm closing this. I don't want to have anyone sneak up on me. Paper. Can I read that? Can't. There is a key. Can I please pick up the key? Thank you very much. Why can't I... I can pick up- why is there chips there? Can I not pick up the key? There's nothing of use in here? I fucking beg to differ. You see the fucking key, lady? You dummy? What do you mean there is nothing of use? What? <laughs> why can't I pick up the key? That has to be grandpa, right? Excuse me? <laughs> I need to find the- Let me guess, we're gonna need this key fucking later. Okay, someone was knocking on the door. Check the door. I'm scared, man. I'm scared of another fucking jump scare. My heart can't handle it anymore. Don't you- I have to look through the people. I will not open this door without looking through the people, you stupid idiot. The door doesn't have a people. Oh, okay. Save it just to check the front door. That was what I was gonna say. Can I please lock it again, though? Okay, so it's gonna make me check the peephole first. I'm trying though. Why can't I look through? I have to unlock first and then... Okay, this better not kill me. Why? What in the fuck? Hi, sir. Why can't I look through the people? I'm so confused. Why do you mean it's safer to check the front door when you're not even gonna look through the people at all? Whatever. Um, hi, sorry if I scared you. I just had to come clean about something. Of course you did. You're the creep that talked to me earlier outside the convenience store. What do you want to come clean about? I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it in the hopes that you would take it back to feel safe again. See, I fucking told you. I mean, obviously, literally everyone in the world except this lady understood that. I mean, eventually she luckily understood that. I was supposed to take it a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I felt too sorry for you. It all makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you leave now? Yes, of course. I'm sorry again. Okay, Jesus Christ, man. Still sus, for sure. What? Wasn't it full daylight a second ago? What happened? Really? It's night already? That's what I'm saying! Why can't I look through the people anymore? Did someone cover it up? Right, I guess we're going to bread. Totally not. Freaky. Team is gonna be stalking us now? Yeah, probably. Right, I'm gonna close. I'm still keeping the light off because I need to sleep, right? Wait. Did that come from the bedroom door? Oh, fuck. Um. Jump out the window. Jump out the window. It's It's worth it. It's like one story. You'll be fine. Oh, fuck.
This is like an immediate call cop situation. Thought this was over. You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work, your phone is dead, the police think- Oh wait, we don't have a phone anymore? The police think they got the person behind this, and you don't know where I am. There's nothing that can stop me anymore. What, what do I do now? I know if I follow down the other path I saw when I first got here, maybe I can find some neighbors that can help me. Uh, follow other path. It's so loud. What the hell? Am I- I'm just gonna run down? He's clearly in the house. Run, 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 run. He's clearly there. Wait, that is open now. What the fuck? Lock him in there. I mean, he clearly has the key. I can't use the car. I gotta run. Follow which other path? Was it- is it this path along the thing? I'm gonna just go back. She said other path. I'm gonna go back as far away from the house as possible. Just run. Oh no. There's someone there. Fuck me, dude. I don't want to go that way. Is that the other path? I think that might be the other path, but it was also where the sound was coming from. Maybe turn on my flashlight? Maybe. What the fuck? I gotta- I gotta have my flashlight so I can follow the path. Wait a minute. Um... This is definitely Liam's car. Am I checking this out? This seems like a bad idea, but... It's a horror game, I gotta check it out. We're in a fucking mine? Is this gonna go all the way- Did he dig this in like two days? <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking Minecrafter, dude. Someone's coughing in here. Blood? Um... You found... That's Liam! What happened to you? Why would someone do this to you? Well, because he's a fucking psychopath stalker? I mean... Oh, what the fuck?! Oh, creepy! Well... I guess it wasn't Liam. Press shift to sprint. No fuck. No, no shit, dude. Well then, um... I'm getting pushed by an invisible wall. I can climb- Oh, this is the hole in the thing! What? Oh, and this is the wife. It's the skull that's missing! I think these are Ashley's remains. One sick and twisted individual. Her husband is... I don't even want to know what he would do to me. Oh, God. We gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run. Can't even get out this way? Oh, my God! It's your ass! Hey, I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now, my new Ashley. So it was you! <laughs> it's a fucking guy with a braided beard, it's a hipster? Who has been sending me this letter? I know I look similar to your ex wife but that doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care how you look, it's more than enough. Come here. I've been waiting so long for this. I have to run before it's too late. Ah! Oh my god, he's so fucking fast, bro! Help, help, help! What in the f- Oh, the police, police! Go, 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 go! Ah, uh, he's probably like literally touching my ass right now. Police, let's go! Oh, I did it. I didn't get caught once, flawless performance. The police arrived on the scene just in- Just in time, thanks to Grandpa. He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. When he arrived home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking feeling, sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly, and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was nothing like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? The man in the white van said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth. 
He was released the same day, of course. Niem's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley, Liam, and almost Kate ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult at night. Uh, at night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep throughout every day. She finds herself checking behind and scan scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. She needs to go to therapy a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, I'm assuming that was the good ending, considering, I mean, there might have been another ending, but I don't even want to see it. Calling the guy back and being like, can we come back together? Especially knowing now that it was all him trying to make me paranoid is definitely not something I want to see. All right, that game was genuinely <laughs> got me many times. I mean, there were jump scares, but they were very effective jump scares. Little fucked up ending though, if that's the good ending where you, I mean, I got a flawless performance achievement, didn't get caught a single time. And it's, I mean, obviously it just should have ended with she's now going to therapy or something. Like at least give us something <laughs> where she's like trying to, get uh or trying to work through the terrible situation yeah but anyway that was uh freaking wild hope you enjoyed that if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it it's like it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash it's click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye i do not i'm not gonna do the other ending i genuinely don't want to see what they would cook up with the most fucked up choice of all time uh, anyway, we're gonna hop into the next one. Like, especially knowing that he... Oh, God. Uh, what the fuck? I, I, I guess? I don't really know. Can I say no? <laughs> I got a, like a Windows Defender pop-up of a very sussy... <laughs> It's a game from Steam, so I'm assuming it's okay. But it was a bit of a sussy, <laughs> sussy message. Like, uh, this game, this, this is, this program is trying to get access to your hard drive. Are you sure? Well, I have to, because it's not starting. All right, well, I guess if I get hacked, you'll know. <laughs> well, here we go. Click all right. Don't kill me, please. All right, we're fine. It's an old game. It's probably... What in the frick? It's a very old game. This game reminded me of uh, Amnesia, so I wanted to check it out. Plus, it's like around 30 minutes to an hour long, which is exactly how much time we have left. Uh, Craven Manor is the title of the game. <clears throat> check options. Uh, I don't know exactly how old it is. It's a free game as well on Steam. It's a little loud. Gonna turn that down to like half. Love the title screen. It's a Bitcoin miner. <laughs> totally. A, f uh, a Bitcoin miner from before Bitcoin was even a thing. What is the FPS? Ca it's so fucking loud. No cap. No cap, guys. I'm gonna say I can only do no cap or 60. Well, I got. I guess I'll do 60. No cap, guys. Okay, we'll leave the rest uh, default, I think. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. Craven Manor. What a cool title screen. I love it. Uh, game mode. Regular, basic game mode. You explore the manor with a standard flashlight. Or nightmare. More challenging game mode. You explore the manor with a mechanically powered flashlight. And the horrors within are more deadly. That seems very annoying. <laughs> That doesn't seem like a fun mechanic. Oh my God, it's so fucking loud, bro. I turn it down so much. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Go nightmare, no cap. No, thank you. Yeah, you guys want to not see the game the whole time because we're not, not going to have a flashlight. Ooh, hello there. That's a cool looking door. Cool looking title screen and a cool looking door. I love it. This game really reminded me of Amnesia. It's, look at those, the text. WASD to move, E to interact. I see. I see a mannequin over there. I'm a little scared. 
Let me guess. We walked in here for no reason, and now we can't leave anymore. A massive door that appears to lead outside. Examine your first object. Well, the door is locked now. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to look around. It is still so insanely loud. Holy fuck, man. <clears throat> I guess we'll do this. Uh, it's moving a little weird. Like a, it's got some screen tearing going on, I think. Uh, how would I get rid of that, though? V-Sync? There's no V-Sync option, though. Is it because of the FPS? Remove cap? No cap? <clears throat> it still has screen tearing. I mean, 30 is definitely not going to help. Disable full screen. I mean, now it's unplayable for me. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, we'll be okay. It's just, it's just an old game. Let's see. What is in the middle here? Hello. A heavy bronze ornament engraved with the letter KM. Let me guess, that stands for Craven Manor. It's like, uh, wait, is that the layout of the house? There's a key in there. I want the key. No key. Can I read this? I can. I in initially, I lamented that the rituals of October were failures. However, months later, I turned my back to a statue. I thought hollow and dead, and the spirit within made itself known. Okay, is that that statue right there? I am intrigued in this statue. What are you? There's like no explanation whatsoever. An eerie bronze statue atop the pedestal. I see that. Classic looking mannequin. I see a cable here or something. It's, wait, what? Something is like glowing. Oh, it, it's making me want to go this way. I see. It's like leading me with a line. Do I have a flashlight? I do have a flashlight. I appreciate that. Uh, I love the stormy weather outside. For whoever, for who's soever the do not in the tr what for whosoever do not in the truth boasting of phantasms brag that they can do miracles be destined to the torments of eternal fire okay then uh that sounds ominous everything is blocked off here uh, a newspaper clipping describing a missing teenager named marjorie hedgepath this game is from 2013 it's an old one. Uh, the heat does not reach far into this cold room and is less than comforting. This house is supposed to be abandoned, yet something started a fire. That is concerning. We're going through old spider webs. Totally yummy. More books on the ground. The epic poem concerns the biblical fable of the fall of man. What is this? It's a dumbwaiter. Can I jump in this? can move items with that yeah the thunder is loud i mean it is thunder after all i cannot go up obviously um i don't really see maybe over here i can go through as well i can go over here uh, <clears throat> v-sync how do you open nvidia control panel because if i can add v-sync that would actually help to get rid of the screen tearing potentially oops what the fuck why did it remove the entire game when i did that Oh my god. Right click desktop. NVIDIA configuration screen. Is that what we're looking for here? <clears throat> Windows and G. Does this even have it? I don't think this game has it. No. What, do, what is it? Uh, NVIDIA control panel? Oh, that's this thing, thing that I saw before. Uh, how I'm, I'm just going to look it up. How to enable VSync NVIDIA control panel. Here we go. Once the NVIDIA control panel is open, you'll find an option to manage 3D settings uh, on the left-hand side of the control panel. 3D settings. Uh, Select the vertical sync option. Um, there is no vertical. Oh, here. There. 
Decent. It's in Dutch. This is annoying. <laughs> oh, that's. Let's see. On. Yeah, there we go. Vsync. I turned on. There we go. Is it going to automatically update or do I have to restart the game now? I've turned it on. Does that fix the. I think there's still some screen tearing. I think I restart the game. Last checkpoint. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's hope that works. Let's see. It's fucking. It wants to get access to my <laughs> thing for. Oh, what? It crashed. <laughs> Wait, what? What is going on? <laughs> oh, it didn't crash. Uh, a file does not exist. All right, well, I guess we're restarting. Let's see if it works now. <clears throat> Hopefully, it'll be fine. Hello there. Why are we going inside of the spooky mansion, by the way? Seems like a bad idea. But I guess it's a horror game for you. Let's go. Is it? Still, I don't think it's very much better, but it's fine. We'll just deal with it. Uh, I'm going to turn that off for now then. Or I'll, I'll write down that I have to turn off the sink in control panel. Let's just play. It's fine. We'll be all right. Let's go back to where we were. There's so many things to interact with. That is one one heavy thunderstorm we got going on. Uh, what is over here? Proceed to lift. Wait, what? Oh, you can manipulate objects when the hand icon appears. Oh, here we go. Okay. Interesting. Wait, what? I have a room. I'm pressing E. Press J to open journal and view your current objectives. I found a skill model of a wine cellar. It matches the model I saw in the entryway. Okay, I think this is one of those like old school horror games where you just have to go around and solve puzzles. Uh, establishing a clear boundary between true sorcery and the mere illusion of mentally ill women. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the... There are footstep sounds. Let me put this in here. <clears throat> Can we go in this? Oh, hello. Oh, what the hell? I'm dead. Rest in peace. Everything is broken. Press F to target your flashlight. I already had it on. This game is totally free, by the way. Uh, bring skill room models to the table. If you need to reuse the table, press E or left click on the table to interact. What am I doing? Wait, are we going to, like, add rooms? Bring... Okay, I need to add it to a place where it fits. It doesn't fit really anywhere. Can I rotate it? Any other skill room models you find to the table? It doesn't seem like that one fits. I have to build my own map. That's so cool. Can we fit this one anywhere? I don't think we can fit it anywhere. Maybe... No. How do I rotate? Uh, rotate room while dragon. There we go. Oh, here we go. Nice. I can fit it like that. That's so cool. We can just put it wherever we want. That's really a cool mechanic. Okay. Never played a game like that. That's like some Zelda stuff. There is something on the floor here. It's a statue piece. Can I not pick that up? Chips. Oh, the bronze statue exploded. It was over there just a moment ago. So now this room is going to be totally different. I see. Uh, was it? Yeah, there was a key here, right? The key that we can now grab. Uh, I would like to get the key instead of doing that. There we go. Ornate key. Obtain the secret key. I guess I have to hold it in my hands for always. I should probably just leave this here until I know what it does. And then we'll pick it up later. We can only carry one thing at a time. Alright, what the hell? Oh, this is a wine cellar. It's very spooky looking though. 
Uh, notice to all Craven Metalwork employees. Thieves and layabouts shall be disciplined by Lord Craven and shall receive no wages during recuperation. Lord Craven, what a name. He's a coward. But these construction expense reports... Within these construction expense reports are references to hidden passageways and moving walls. Okay. This photo is labeled 1857. Craven Metalworks and depicts a grim, well-dressed man in his 40s at the grand opening of a factory. The blueprint design is attributed to William Craven. The architectural architecture reflects both scrupulous, scrupulous detail and extremely strange... Co Structural components, okay. Like secret passageways and stuff. I mean, we're moving around rooms, which is already quite. Hello? Upon close inspection, something seems to have torn this painting with dozens of thin, fine scratches. Can I drink some wine? That'll make this less scary. What the fuck? Okay, then. Are there going to be enemies? Everything is falling apart. Is the storm no longer happening, or is it just because I'm underground? I can't see it anymore. There is too many spiders, man. I don't like spiders. I mean, I don't mind spiders, like tiny ones, but big ones, I do not. Hello? Get out. Well, then. That's a screenshot for the collection right there. That's a lot of blood. Was that already there? Or is there more now? I feel like there's a little more now. Also, how am I supposed to get out? It's all blocked. Can I even crouch in this game? I cannot even crouch in this game. Can I jump in this game? I can't jump in this game either. Well, uh, click the right mouse button to throw an object you're holding. Wait, am I going to burn this? Wait a minute. Click the... Well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> what I was thinking was break the wine on the crates and then grab something to light it on fire. But I guess you're going to do that instead. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Hello. Are you freaking Coilhead, bro? What the fuck? Oh, my God. Shit's scary all of a sudden. Can we chill? Okay, I'm healed again. <laughs> what in the fuck? Uh, bedroom model. Let's go. Okay, doors are opening. I appreciate that. There's more books. That, well, I already read all these books. All right, get me the hell out of here. I don't like that statue. Statue is mighty spooky. I would like to add this. So do I now have to connect this? I have to connect this just to the... Yeah, there we go. Connect it right there. That's so cool. There. Wait. Oh, it's connected to over there. Well, the, then we can connect it down here. That would. That's easier. There we go. It's like, it's a little, well, never mind. It's up there as well. What the fuck is this door then? Excuse me. Oh, we need locked panel. This. Oh, has an ornate keyhole in one corner. Wait. Can we use this key over there? Can we use the special key? It's a, called an ornate key. I feel like that would fit the ornate lock. It does. The gear system appears to be missing an important piece. Okay, so we need a lever and we need a gear and then we can access that. Nice. I'm going to put this back over there. Give me a slight walk. Boom. Oh, the storm is still ongoing. This is a beautiful house. Spooky. <laughs> Very large, though. Holy shit. Yeah, that's one. Uh, we got to pay attention to the horror bingo on this one. There's got to be many bingos to be had. Hello. Uh, Don't do that. Can you stay away from me? Did you bring alive some kind of puppet or whatever? All right, that is closed. I guess I'm going towards the mannequin. Also, there's something to read. Inside this book are many diagrams and sketches of human teeth. Concerning? What the fuck? Ah, uh, those are some weird paintings you got. 
There's so many fucked up mini- What in the hell? It's like a severed head with a bunch of snakes. A news article describing the visible decrease of home- Homeless and indignant in doubtful past, West Virginia. A police chief takes credit for cleaning up the town. The wire globe feels almost like it has a slight electric charge. It's Medusa. Oh, it's a severed head. Uh, the father- Well, I guess that was the story, right? That he chopped off the head and then used it against some other monster or whatever. Um, the father's- Beatings wore me raw. I hated mother's ceaseless lying most. Seeing them die was an epiphany. There is a beauty in death I've never forgotten. What in the frick? All right, then. Did you kill them? That's a lot of statues. You can't hide from me. I know one of them is you. Oh. You son of a ding-dong. That is a bloody chest. Very concerning. I can't open it. A pile of dark, blurry photos of six nude men and women decorated with streaks of red paint. They are dancing around a glass orb. The setting appears to be the top floor of a library. Okay, then. The door, uh, something was crawling along the floor. That is weird. I would like to take the globe. Yeah, but I can't. Oh, I can rotate it. What did I just do? I rotated it. I see a note over here. Labeled George Craven 40802. This black and white photo depicts a male body on its knees, leaning over with its head submerged in a vat of molten bronze. Crime scene photos. It's like some freaking Game of Thrones shit over here. Or some like ancient Roman shit. Didn't they do that? What was the guy called again? One of the triumvirate guys. Got like... It oh, Jesus Christ! Hello. You peace? Uh, can I go through this door without you? Crassus! Yes, I was looking at chat. I was like, I need to know the fucking name of this person. Someone's gonna say it. Thank you. Um... Hi. He is truly Coilhead, huh? Can I- What the fuck? Ah, stop it! Jesus, can I not do anything with this space? It's- it's glowing and shit, but I can't do anything. Stop! It is freaking just straight up SCP-173 or Coilhead. <laughs> you peace? I can't leave, man! Oh god. So it's just this painting that's highlighted. What's the book? Most of the journal's nonsense and gibberish, but one sentence sticks out. The truth lied beyond, lies beyond the sleeping man. Is there a sleep? Oh, what the fuck? Is that, that's not a sleeping man. Oh, come on. You son of a bitch. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? He's on the floor. The fuck, he's trying to hide from me. Uh, that is not a sleeping man, unless I guess you mean he got, he is made to sleep. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm so confused. Uh, can I? I can't click on this. Oh god, what the fuck? I'm clicking, I'm spamming, I'm... Wait. There's something on the floor there. Oh wait, there's a button right there! Wait, 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 wait. There's something I can pull here. Can you fuck off? I gotta pull this real quick. Don't you dare touch me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we open up the- as long as there's a light, he can't move. Okay, I see. Interesting. And now we can move that. Alright, understood. Okay, door's back open. Why is my flashlight turning off? Okay, it's just flickering. It's fine. I get a new objective. Uh, the horror lives in the recesses of darkness. A place between curiosity and madness. I can feel it. It seeks to destroy me. Okay, we have the skill models. Oh no, we already we were in the skill model. The nature of limbo has revealed itself to me. It is a receptacle in a statue state of existence wherein the spirit can be contained. What in the fuck? Attic model, let's go. A carefully detailed illustration of a human arm being dipped in bronze with a set of pincers. 
The labeling appears instructional, as if it were torn out of a manual. Okay, so they're making these statues out of real humans. That's what's going on? My earliest successes were brief, but invigorating. After the ritual... Ritual Maleficarium... Maleficarium? The large orbs helped the spirits for a second... For seconds at a time, and glowed visibly. He is making some sussy shit. He's doing some Frankenstein business over here. All right, I got a new model that I would love to bring back to the main room if I can. Hello, what the fuck? You were not there before? Oh, please don't drop that. All right, here we go. Can I jump this? I, can't, I forgot I can't jump. I also feel kind of small in this game, but I might just be small. Can we get another objective? We found a, wait, it said, I found a model of a dark addict. I do not look forward to entering this place. Of course, dark addict, another classic. I have to move your ass. Can I put you there? I'm gonna put this here. Are we gonna eventually have to connect them or something? I hear weird whispering. I don't know if you guys hear that shit. Okay, well, attic time. At first, there was no need to assure that th the thoughtful consciousness follows the spirit. Indeed, for the likes of the first 19, their minds were no great loss. The first 19 victims of your mannequin scheme? Also, this painting I've already seen, I think. You're repeating the paintings. Uh, a handwritten list of 23 surnames, each followed by a different thumbprint. The names include Howard, Larson, and Hedgepath. Didn't we see Hedgepath before? I swear we saw that name. Uh. Hi? I heard sounds, but I didn't see anything. Oh, lever. Aha. Uh -huh. I would like to go past this. I can't go past this. I fucked up. Can I put you back up? I quickly want to check here first. Is there any lore? Lore? Containing a philosoph philosophic description and application of the choicest... Of the choicest kim... 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 What is this? Chimi chimical? Chemical? Chimical? Remedies? Drawn from the light of nature and grace. Philos I've never seen the words philosophic spelled that way, but I might just never have seen it. Can I, maybe it's supposed to say chemical. Oh, we got this? No, we got another. We got so many globes. Anyway, I guess we go up here now. It's old English. Old school speech. Well, that's totally nice looking up here. Hello. Thought it was a ghost. No ghost. The fuck? Birth certificate of William Craven, born in 1857 to Jacqueline and Lord George Craven of Doubtful Pass, Virginia. I hear all kinds of spooky sounds all the time. Uh, this is looking like it's gonna fall on my head. Be careful. What did I just say? <laughs> Excuse me? Fucking called it? Oh, hi. Oh, no, not you. That is it multiple? Oh, jeez. Can you come through that? No, you can't. Okay, that's good. Uh, what? Oh, no. Counterweight? Can I please... Push this. Push it. I can't. I want to lift that, though. What the hell? Oh, I can throw it. Throw it at that. Boom. Never mind. Oh, do I have to throw it in there? <laughs> that seems very weird. Really? <laughs> ha! Oh, it actually works. He's a genius. Can I grab all these? I can't grab all these. That's some amnesia shit right there. Wait a minute. Wait, what did I just do? This is actually science. If I pick this up, I lift myself. Wait, 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 wait. This is this is gonna be mega glitchy. This is some speedrunner strats right here. Ha! I'm gonna glitch the game. Okay, never mind. It's fine. I mean, probably can do that, but I'm probably just gonna glitch out of bounds. Okay, it's open up. 
like an it's just some glass. There was a mannequin right behind it though, I'm concerned. Can I read that book? Stop making those noises! Oh fuck. What the stop that! It's a freaking poltergeist, guys. There's the cogwheel. I want it. A gear just out of reach. There's a shattered window in the back ground that leads outside. I want it. Stop throwing shit at me. Oh. Can I not get this anyway? There's no way to get there, huh? Is this the, not the path I've already been? Yeah, I've already been this way. So I have to go all the way outside and loop around. Is there a way to go maybe through down here? There's got to be an open window somewhere. Yeah, I feel like you could get through there. Maybe this door is open now. It is not open now. Any door open here? This one? No. Maybe I have to, like, combine different rooms to make this happen. I'm not sure. Or maybe there's just a way to go from here. Let's see. Uh, anyway. I hear the rain much clearer. It's obviously... Yeah, obviously, I have to go through that. You have to, like, go outside and go in through the... I don't know, the garden? That's already done. Just looping around. To, yeah, this just got blocked behind me. Hi, Al. Ike, thank you for the nine months. That is a baby. You got a lot of shit just everywhere. I think I have to go down. I don't see anything here. That's okay. So then we have to go out because I don't see any other way. I mean, we couldn't get in that door. We couldn't get in there. And in the attic, it can't be. So we have to go through. We have to combine multiple rooms somehow. I don't know how we would do that, though. Let's see. What if I put... Was there a way to break? Hmm. Can we somehow combine these? Attic model. No, 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 no. And then thank you for the nine. We're gonna do some big brain shit here. Could we like... Maybe like this, and then we can go outside here, and then loop around to go in there. I could see that being a thing. I mean, there's gotta be some way to get outside. I could not reach the gear. No, it was too far. And Lee, thank you for the nine. see what's there even a there's windows here wait a minute i could see this over here there's blood was that there before i'm not exactly sure oh yeah it was definitely here before wait can we move this out of the way i don't know if this is the combination we were looking for maybe a different combo you can see outside here Hmm, maybe the other one? What was the other one? It was like the, like the creepy ass picture. This is no open window here, so that's not it. Yeah, this is a, a puzzly game. Unless there's just a simple way inside the attic. What does it say? I found a model. Yeah, okay. Dark attic. I look f do not look forward to entering this place. That doesn't really tell me anything. I guess it must either be the combination of the other one, or we have to figure out something new. Does this even fit together? This... maybe? No. I don't see that fitting together. How the fuck do we go then? Combination of all of them? Because that doesn't fit. Maybe That doesn't fit. Maybe like that? No. Oh. I feel like this is made in a way where you could not possibly fit them together. Like, this could fit together, but that is not the answer, apparently. I feel like they should have given you... They should have introduced this mechanic. If this is a mechanic, they should at least... Should have int introduced it a little bit easier, because I do not understand... 
Maybe I need more pieces. Was there just something in the attic that I missed? Yeah, there's a shat there's like shadows on the but we can't fit them. Like this one seems no, it doesn't seem. They they don't seem like they fit. Uh because look, they where would this one even go? Like over here somewhere, maybe? Like maybe there? I'm not sure. These stains look different. They don't look like they align with what we have right now, at least. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's got to be in the attic. And there's just a way to get into one of the rooms. Somehow. I'm not sure. This is attic again. So like a way to open up. Because this room doesn't open up. Yeah, I feel like there's got to be a way. This is strange. I'm stupid. Is this one also, also didn't open, right? And there's no way to open any lockers. I mean, it's got to be in the attic. That felt like such a smart option. Can go that way. Creepy picture. Oh, there's a model. Okay, here we go. I missed there's a model. Okay, so now we can do what we were originally thinking, which is connect. Oh, hi there. What the fuck? Connect these together so we can get to that open window. Don't you touch me. Oh my god, he teleported. Fuck off. You can't come out here, right? Is it light here? Okay, well, that definitely helps me. All right. So we were just missing it. So now we can grab this one and connect it. So then this connects to the window. Aha. Uh -huh. That is super cool. I see. So now we go through this one instead. This is also a new one. It was a library. Right? That's a very convenient house. You can just pop in whatever you want. Something upstairs. How would we get upstairs though? Maybe you use the ladder. I'd like you could use the ladder, sir. Ah, this book. Rejecting the music of the spheres as the movement of astronomical bodies are incapable of generating sound. What the fuck? Looks like a Call of Duty map. You've you've played too much. You have a problem. I don't see anything else. Yeah, imagine just being able to pop up, pop on an extra room. It's so easy. You want to go to the bathroom? Just pop on a bathroom real quick. No problem. Can we? Oh, and now we can go dumb, dumb waiter. No. Uh, why can't I? I'm stuck everywhere, man. Fuck. Something happened upstairs. But how do I get upstairs? I don't get it. Seems very... Like, you could easily climb over this. I hate it when games do this. <laughs> what? Like, we have to connect over there, but how the fuck do we get up there? The fireplace we've already interacted with. It's like, hey, there's a fire. How is that possible? Mm, maybe we have to go... Or, like, just use this ladder, you know, that's literally right here, you dumbass. Push over a book pile. I wish I could do that, like Dark Souls style, roll through it. I mean, it's connected with the attic right now, but I cannot possibly get up there. Maybe, wait, 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 wait. What if I first have to somehow connect it with another one? Like, can we make a loop somehow? What if we connect this, wait, wait, wait. So this obviously doesn't work. We can't get up the stairs there. So what if we grab this one and then we put it like, let's, this has got to be it. We put it like here. Now we can get in that way, but I guess maybe we can open up the way. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe if we just go in here, we can then clear out the rubble and then go up the stairs easily. That might be a strategy. This is a actually very clever puzzle game with some genuine puzzles instead of just uh, participation trophies. False book. What the fuck? Do I need to know the order? You're mad at me? Okay, I did it in the right order. <laughs> uh, my flashlight doesn't reach very far. Hello. 
Okay, pop. Uh, did they pop out in the right order or what now? Oh, there was some. Oh, Jesus fucking Christmas, man. Stop. Stop it. Oh my God, there's another one. What the fuck? Okay, uh, that's a problem for me. I would say that is suboptimal. Oh my God. There's two. Unless he's just teleporting. It might just be the one that's teleport. Okay. Do I really just have to fucking trial and error this shit? Or is there like a, oh, what the hell? Or is there like a way I know which one? This one is the first one. This one is the second one. And then what is the next one? Stop it. Stay away from me. I'm stuck. Mannequin stuck. I would love to turn on the lights, please. It's not that one. We know that. Oh, Jesus. Which one? Which one? Which one? There's got to be another one. There, this one, and then this one. Please be correct. There we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh my god! <laughs> correct! Survive the library encounter, and then it clears the rubble, so now we can connect the two rooms. That is very clever. <laughs> he just got blasted. Absolutely easy. Now he's not going to be a problem, right? I'll never see those guys ever again. Totally. Clueless. Oh, come on. I have to go. Wait, what? If I can't go through that, then what am I supposed to do? Because this doesn't connect, right? Wait, I'm in trouble. Can I go out this way? No. Do I have to solve the book puzzle again? Wait a minute. Did he drop something? Oh. Oh. A heavy bronze ornament engraved with the letters KM. Also, you can see him in there. <laughs> his head is squished in there, man. But he's moving. Oh, interesting. Nice details. Okay. Now, can we use this to... I guess it wanted me to make... Or it wanted to make sure that I had this before I tried to leave. So now I can leave. Yeah, okay. That, I appreciate that. What the fuck? I hear more whispering. What in the fuck is that? Ball? Light ball? Hello, Mr. Light Ball? What are you doing? I can't go through there, sir. Oh, I can. I can go through there. Aha. Uh -huh. Not an Oni, guys. It's a flow. What? Spooky? What? <laughs> I want to read this. An old photograph dated 1877 shows a massive manor under renovation. The back of the photo has Latin script. Blah, 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 blah. Where did that go? Uh, I must somehow get to this white room. I can manipulate the other rooms on the table to create a path, but the pieces only seem to fit in a very specific order. Okay, then. Uh, maybe I should have seen where it flew through. Or two, because... Oh, no, it's right there. Ah, I see. So I can't move that room. I have to get over here. Okay, understood. But don't I want to first do this? I first want to do this. Because I still have to get that cog wheel. Um, yeah, this game has old-timey feels. That's why I wanted to check it out, because it reminded me of, like, uh, Amnesia. Which I have played the original Amnesia. I got some questions about that a while ago. Like, when is Inchip finally going to play Amnesia? I already did. I haven't played the new, the newer games. Uh, but I have played the original one. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? I broke it. Obtaining the secret gear. And I'm also in a room where I wasn't able to go in before. Uh, a hand-drawn diagram of the human body. Labeled with strange, unfamiliar symbols. Uh, nothing. I gladly can go through there. Wait. Okay, luckily this isn't open. Otherwise, I was stuck back there. Excuse me. Someone just closed the door. I don't want to see who did that. I'm going to run out of here. Custom stories. Yeah. PewDiePie did like 17 million videos on that stuff. I've never played an Amnesia custom story. That was so interesting. That was like the dawn of horror games was just making custom stories before horror games were really a thing. Okay, I should probably put this in the over here. There we go. I still need the lever though. Piece of the machinery looks like the fulcrum or a missing lever. So now we can connect them. Let's see. How do we connect? We probably follow the 
Um, this one, which one has multiple entrances? Because it needs to, there's only one that has multiple exits, right? So how the fuck was I, how, am I able to connect this? I don't think there is a way. Wait, I can't move this anymore. What? Okay, so I guess that one is correct. If I can't move it, then, wait, what? I feel like I should be able to move that. I'm concerned. I can move, I can connect that. That doesn't look, that doesn't look good. No, it, maybe this. And then this, because I'm trying to follow the shadows, but the, oh no, 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 shadows, this one. Yeah, yeah, this one. Aha, uh -huh. and then this one. Okay, there we go. The shadows aren't exact, but they are. Wait, where do I go now? Oh, I go through the, the door down here. This is a puzzle. Is this different looking or did I just not pay attention before? I think I paid, paid no attention. Now we go through here, but we have to... That's just so interesting way to make the same... To make you go through the same rooms while keeping them interesting. And this game is totally free, by the way. Just surprising. Okay, I can't go through there, but I have to go through there. Unless I don't, and I have to go through the bottom. There's another door. All these things are disappeared now, because there was a whole thing blocking the way here before. What the fuck? That's so creepy. There was one face, which... I, I remember this poster was in the attic. Does anyone remember which one of these it was? I don't remember. I have to do some kind of puzzle here. Let's read it. The portraits of Jacqueline Craven each have a different inscription. Only one of the inscriptions tells the truth. Oh, it's one of these? The Jacqueline wearing... Oh, okay, here we go. The classic. The Jacqueline wearing blue is honest. All right, let's see. The Jacqueline wearing green is a liar. The globe belongs in the rightmost frame. So you are saying this one is a liar, and you are saying this one is honest. Which, if this one isn't honest, then this... I'm assuming... Did it say only one? Only one of the inscriptions tells the truth. Okay, interesting. Only one of them can be correct. Uh, the Jacqueline wearing purple is telling the truth. The globe belongs in the frame on the leftmost side. The Jekyllling wearing green is a liar. The globe belongs in the third frame from the left. Okay. So we have three locations. We have either third frame from the left, which is middle. Or no, 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 this one, not middle. Um, or it's that one and that one. So unless they're all wrong, in which case it will be this one. So let's see. Because only one of these says the truth, right? Are these... What is this color? This also looks... Oh, no, it's yellow. I see. Uh, the Jekyll and wearing purple is telling the truth, but only one says the truth. So, if this one is telling the truth... Wait. So, if this one... Doesn't this make these immediate lies? Because if this one is telling the truth, then they would both be truthful, which is impossible because only one is telling the truth. So, they both have to be liars. Well, no... This one has to be a liar, for sure. Which means this one is a liar, so it's not in the leftmost. Which means this is the same situation. Blue is honest, which means green... Wait, wait, so blue is honest, so that has... Wait. Green is a liar, so this one is a liar, which means this one is a liar. Thus, green is honest, which means the globe belongs in the rightmost frame. Alright, so it's got to be rightmost frame, then. Is that what I'm... Oh, God. Understanding here? He's insane with it. Big brain. I think we did it. Nice. That was a fun one. I like that it when it's only one guy speaking the truth. So it's easier. Uh, see a projector thingy? My earliest successes were brief, but invigorating. After the ri ritual maleficarium, the large orb orbs held the spirits for seconds at a time and glowed visibly. Didn't we already read this? I remember this. I guess we've been here before. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, 
is dead bodies. A lot of them. What are you doing, sir? Oh, that's a spirit. I see. Spirit goes into the orb. And then freaking explodes. All right, then. Uh, do we gotta, are we gonna do that as well? This is the human body thing. They're all hanging. It's not what it looks like, YouTube. Trust me, they're just mannequins. It's okay. Oh, God. Dude, we're just moving through all these rooms, right? There's new levers now. I don't remember these levers being here originally. Um. Well, then. The photo was tilted now, I saw. Then we go back through the wine cellar. What the fuck? Hi! These frickin' magic books. That's kinda sick. Can I go through? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, jump into the red hole. That's totally gonna go well. Wait, I guess I don't want to do that. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's a ghost orb, guys. Uh, a barely, barely legible note, including the words lever, bottles, and well. And a rough musical scale. Several combinations of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 are crossed out. Lever, bottles, and well. Okay, so I have to throw that in the well? Is that what I'm doing? I have to find... Bottles and throw them in there. I have a bunch of bottles here, but I can't pick any of. Wait, what the fuck? Didn't I come from there? It's a bolter for sure. Where it came from up there? I cannot go through this door. It's blocked. I'm. I feel like I'm supposed to pick up some items. And oh, there's a lever here. I see. Oh, they make sounds. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so that's a really low note, and that's a really high note. Wait, wait, wait. Which one's just got thrown in? Because we need to obviously recreate it. Which one was the C, and which one was the Y? Was it... It was one of these. And was it this one? Oh, no, it has the number. Wait, it has the symbol on it? It was the... Which green one, though? Was it this green one? And the red one. So the green one was the... Can I just test it? Oh, it, it makes a sound when I pick it up. Okay, that's the high one. Wait, I'm... I'm a vegan poisoned! That's the low one. That's the low one. Oh, fuck me. Do I need to do them in this order? Oh, I'm gonna die. Go, go, go. That's a low one, too. Ding. Oh, my God. It's three. It's the. This is the really low one. It's the not very low one. This one. Yeah, this one. Boom. Then the really low one. Which is this one. Then the. This one has the symbol straight on it. And then the red one. It's done it. Okay. Can I not die now, please? Okay. Go, 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 go. All right, that was that picture again. That's such a creepy picture. All right, we've done it. I carefully explained to each of them that this is not death. They will still live more fully than before, yet they will and call me a monster. They fail to appreciate their contribution. You are crazy. Okay, then. More of the... We've already been here. I remember that picture. I think we've reached a room, the new room. Saving, thank you. Uh, what the fuck? Oh no! Did I fall straight? Did I walk into your trap? Never mind, I didn't. Uh, you locked it behind me? That is concerning. I'm in some kind of lab right now. Okay, it's all moving. Everything is moving. That's a lot of blood. Are you trying to lock the souls inside of these, like, globe thingies, right? Let's see. 
An orb can hold a soul for seconds. The statues for years, when the ritual is held on Craven Manor itself, limbo may mean life everlasting. A heavy syringe labeled tranquilizer beneath in smaller text appear the word lysergic acid diethylamide. Diethylamide? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, that's also a lot of blood. A large shattered glass orb. It seems to have burst from within. The broken glass has an odd shimmer as if it were absorbing the light around it. It's LSD, okay. <laughs> that's the, that's what that stands for? Can I even leave this? Just walk back out? Oh, this is open now, I see. I have to interact with everything. And then... The blade is stained brown with blood and appears to be dull from extensive use concerning... Inhalation gas therapy using nitrous oxide. All right, then. Totally not concerning. Uh, with our sticky bones and thin skin, the saw and, and a hammer and and hammer have taught me how frail we are. Earthly bodies are destined to rot. Okay, it's someone looking for immortality. Classic. The horror game classic. Handbook of Physiology, Phrenology, and Physiognomy. Bits of the blade are dulled and bent from use. Ampo, yeah, I already read that. Is there something back here? There's some mannequin arms. Actually, a relatively clean looking place for considering how much blood there is. Wait, there's gotta be something more. I see a knife, I see two books. Can I go through here? That's blocked off. Can I go back? I am. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hi. Oh, Jesus. Hello. I'm your friend. Why are you attacking me? Run! Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. What in the hell? Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm gonna run. I'm running. He is doing ghost shit at me. Stop it. Don't shoot laser beams at me. It's a damn jam. All right, I gotta... Can I break this somehow? This is like freaking playing Lethal Company over here. Go! Oh, what the fuck? Help! Where am I even going? Wait, was I not supposed to go this way? I can't see shit, brother! Oh, I did it. Um. Survive the white room, he says. I'm on fire, bro. What do you mean, survive? I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I think I was supposed to stay in that room and I softlocked the game. <laughs> I think I made it oopsie. What? It's pretty sick music though. I think I'm gonna click load. I think I'm gonna click load game from the last checkpoint real quick. <laughs> Cause I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are fine. Let's go for checkpoints, baby. Okay, we can literally just replay the entire chase. I was definitely not doing that right. I think I was just supposed to do the, like, mini game. All right, sir. Could you not try and kill me, please? I would like to get out of here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, open the design. Oh, God. I need to loop you. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Don't. If I look at him, he can't kill me, right? That's the rules. That's the rules of Coilhead. And then I need to... Oh, Jesus! No, 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 no! I need to lead you in here. Yes, yeah, stop it! What do you mean? What? My brother. <laughs> okay, thank you for the sub. And I'm Kenny, thank you for the three of the biddies. I've been murdered. Okay, well, here we go again. The Brazzy, they give her the 10 tier 2 subs. Holy shit. Yeah, I've been grabbed. I need to just look at him, but then it's hard to know where to go. Hi. 
Okay, could you please not touch me? Don't touch me, sir. Ow, oh, fuck. Why are you allowed to move when I'm looking straight at you? That is cheating. You're cheating. Okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. He's shooting laser beams at me. Yes, we got to go into the room. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, so now that we're here, don't fuck it up. Get him to go in here. Escape, and then what? Don't run away here. Uh, what? Wait, huh? I did... Um, I am supposed to run? What do you mean? I ran last time, and I broke the entire game, sir. What the fuck? Oh, I have to make him shoot an orb into the middle thing. I just did it by accident. What the fuck? That's so stupid. <laughs> I understand that. Okay. I am running. You can't get me. Am I stuck? Oh. Stop it! I uh, kind of know the route by now. You definitely have to look at him because he moves. Okay, sir. I'm not going to break the game this time. Shoot the orb. There we go. Shoot the orb and I'm not running. It doesn't allow me to move right now. Okay. And I got stuck behind all the burning rubble over there last time. <laughs> Lol. Okay, and now I can go through here. Oh. Yeah, that definitely wouldn't have worked. We've done it. <laughs> this time I did it. Oh, God. It's all breaking down. Jurassic, thank you for the four months. Run, run. Uh, what the fuck? Did I just get stabbed? It's like a sword sound. I think I have uh, officially fucked up this mansion. Get out. That is exactly what I'm planning to do right now because it's all falling apart. Oh, I see. Insane music? Open. Please open the door. I've done it. I'm jamming. Oh boy. The door doesn't open. Oh Jesus. Don't shoot laser balls at me, please. No, 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 no. Where do I go? Where do I go? I go in there. I go in here. Wait, didn't I just come from here? Maybe I gotta get him to shoot the door. And I just come from here. Oh no, I gotta get him to shoot this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Break it. Boom. You broke it, idiot. It's gonna explode though. Oh fuck. Is this open now? This door is open. Thank you. Uh, that's a lot of fire. Goodness gracious, that's actually sick fire. Oh, fuck. Where am I? I've fallen, and I can't get up. Secret doors? Oh, the house is moving. Uh, what in the hell? It's floating. Dude, this is a sick final chase. Epic. Uh, all the furniture is floating. That is concerning. He's gonna chase me. Uh, can I walk on these books? Hey, I don't want to fall here. What the fuck? It's like that one, like, uh, ride in the Efteling, where they, like, rotate the house. That shit always makes me sick. Uh, that's crazy. Do I have to make him shoot something? I have to make him shoot with his own orb? Aha! It's up there, it's up there. doing this wrong everything is shaky yeah it's right here go 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 shoot me idiot did he get it i think he shot it everything is shaking and exploding where's there another one? Oh fuck can i jump down i can't jump down there's got to be another one there's another one right there dude this is so cool this is so unexpected suddenly it's like a crazy epic game I thought we were doing chill puzzles. 
Alright, uh, shoot this. Alright, dodge on IRL. Shoot it! Come on. Oh my god. I need you to shoot that one to the side, and then this one needs to go straight. Hit it, please! Oh my god. How? What am I doing wrong? How am I supposed to make him hit this? Sir, please hit it! It's, he's like desync, man. I can't jump in this game. Please hit it, sir. Oh my god. There, that's gotta be it. What? That didn't hit? That looked perfect. Come on. Yes! Let's go. Okay, it was just a little finicky. Oh god. Is there another one? I'm still getting shot at. There's one at the door. Zigzag, baby. You can't get me. Everything is shaking. I'm getting sick. Go, 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 go. Break it. Let's go. <laughs> that was sick. Okay, then. That looks concerning. Bye-bye, <laughs> bitch. The epic slow-mo and everything. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I've been knocked out. Oh no. He's taking me to the freaking testing chambers. I'm very tall all of a sudden. Let me guess. I'm going to look at my arms and I'm a mannequin now. That's the plot twist. Look at look at your hands, sir. I am the monster. I can't, can I look at my own arms? I can't look down. I don't have control. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. Of course. Mannequin mode. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> that was so good, dude. I love that. <laughs> what a neat little organ. That felt like it was like a five hour experience, even though it was like less than an hour long that's so good so yeah that is a free game on steam that you can check out for yourself right now if you want uh very similar feeling to like amnesia the puzzles were actually genuinely good those were genuinely some of them especially the one where you have to move like the the rooms around i really like that one were genuinely challenging because a lot of the horror games that i play have more participation trophy puzzles rather than puzzles that are like actually unique and involve some some interesting game mechanics so yeah it's also quite oh this is all the the translations i see i thought these were all the people working on this game so yeah hope you enjoyed that let me know what you thought if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely game is here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash it's working the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs> uh i'm there was also yeah the music was great too the nightmare I don't see how playing this on nightmare mode would have made it a better experience, though. I'm glad we didn't do that. Alrighty, well, uh, that is... I'm going to close the game so we can place our own music. That's going to be the end for today. What a perfect timing as well. We're right on time. I need to fix my sleep schedule now that the time has changed and I'm tired because of the hour less, hour less sleep. Uh, thank you guys so much for chilling today. Tomorrow is Monday, right? So Phasmo Monday, unless it's a lethal company update. I'm going to chill with some Phasmo, probably do some goes gambling here and there we'll see we'll see how it goes we've already done the easter event so we don't need to worry about that so hope to see you there tomorrow thank you so much for chilling today if you're watching over on youtube i will be linking you the video i uploaded earlier today if you didn't already check it out it was an observation duty video if you didn't see it you should check it out now i will link it to you thank you so much for hanging out with us today i appreciate you all and i hope you have a great night see you tomorrow everyone see you tomorrow youtube 